Hello. How's it going? I realized I hit the start streaming button and I just didn't say anything for a few seconds there. My goodness, dead air. Never allowed to happen. Hope you all are doing good. We're picking up where we left off. I sure hope that I... Yeah, I did update all the stream info. Okay, good. That's always a plus. I'm um, just doing all the start of stream setup nonsense. Looks like we're pretty good. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Hey, Kaneki. Kaneki? I'll get your name right one day. Hey, Tovu. How's it going, gang? I hope you all are doing well today. Uh, so, for those of y'all who missed it, we, um... We ended last stream by by slaughtering the druids and a, a good amount of the tieflings too, though that was a little more of a uninti unintended side effect. Oops, to be latest. How's it going, gang? Hey, wizard. Hey, dysphoria. Hey, Saturn. Zach. Still09. Jojo. Alex. Tavros. Jordan. How's it going, gang? Hey, Obama. Hey, Witchy. Hope you all are doing well. If you guys hear any jingling in the background, that is my little baby cat. She's she's playing. We we do hate the potent robe. Horrible item. God awful. If you use the potent robe, you're a bozo. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. I mean, I, I guess we should keep the, the, the arrows. Hey, Grim, how's it going? Did you hear about Potent Robe? I think it's supposed to be pretty good. Nah, it's awful. Time for Truant Bingo? True, true. Cat Cam? I mean, she's she's in, like, the other side of the room. She's currently inside of a Pepsi box. Uh, so I, I don't think the Cat Cam is going to be much to look at. I'll, I'll drop the um, Truant Bingo real quick. For those of you who want to play. There you go. There's Truant Bingo. Always a fun time. Heard of this cool set of armor called Armor of Agility. It's pretty cool. I'd recommend you get it soon. Now that I can get behind. We stand the Armor of Agility. I've been doing research for my Druid Warlock Summoner build, but it might become Druid Warlock Wizard build for real. I'm kind of curious why Warlock for the Summoner build. Is it because you want to go Will to like get the... Extra summon. Uh, either way, let's just keep playing this video game. We're listening to Cult of the Lamb music today, by the way, for anybody who's curious on uh, Truant FM. Uh, let me just recollect my bearings. We're going to start by heading to the... What is this quest marker for? Oh, yeah, we didn't do the runes. Whatever. That's fine. Um, we're going to start by going to talk to Manthara and tell her the, the good news, I guess. Take a short rest, get our spell slots back, do a little quick save. I don't know why we're doing a quick save, but we're doing it. Hey, how's it going, Blaze Lays? Alrighty. Must be horrifying to see a big dwarf. Like, we are just a unit. I guess you could say we're uh, really dwarfing everybody else around us. I've already got three for the bingo. That's unreal. I really just do say the same stuff over and over, huh? Art thou winning, son? It feels like we're winning. Yeah. I mean, yesterday's stream was kind of... Uh, Hectic, but at the start of Act 1 always is. Although I feel that spider fight was a little a little more hectic than usual. Well, at first I wanted to go deep in pack stuff, but now I realize I can get better summons in Act 3 through learning Wizard Scrolls. It very well might be Temp Warlock, but I like some of the spells. That's Yeah, that's fair. I don't think Warlock's a great summoner class. Hey, Floor, how's it going? I've got a very hard bingo card, not gonna lie. Well, don't forget you can manipulate me. <laughs> I'm open to being manipulated, in, in case you want to. 
Uh, I mean, just be, you know, just be smart about it. Don't be like, hey, can you say this? Although I, I do fall for that quite a bit. If I ask the run rules, I get three squares from the bingo. That's unreal. Have we got the bottle today? Uh -huh, I'm, I'm on to you. What bottle? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Drinking any water today? No, I hate water. I'll show you where the grove is. So close. Their fate is sealed. Hey, what are you drinking from? Straight from the tap. In the slaughter. Go to what are the rules for this run? There are no rules. It's carnage. Zevlor who? I know who Zevlor is. Zevlor is that tiefling guy that did nothing as we, as his people fought for their lives. I prefer to face my enemies rather than stabbing them in the back. Now ah, we'll do it. I don't know how tricky I want this character to be. I mean, like, how, how backstabby has he been so far? Like, he backstabbed the ogres. Um, and then I guess, you know, he, he didn't really, like, betray the druids so much as keep his word to the tiefling children. I'm just going to say this. How noble. Yeah, we're noble. There you go. I will gather a raiding party. Opposite day for Druid, exactly. You will open the gates from the inside. As a reminder, please post the rules, run rules in the description for the new people that might come into the stream. You're so right. You're so right. And burn it to the ground in the absolute's name. And then we will be the first among her favorites. Uh, I need to finish writing them. Hold up. Uh. Okay. Give me a second. They're on my phone, so I need to send them to my computer and then post them in the description. Should have done this before the stream. Rookie streamer. Uh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Edit the stream. Ooh, I'm also going to get Nightbot going eventually. That's, that's the thing that's going to happen. Probably. Okay. Should be in the description now. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, also in the description, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a link to the Discord. I'll give you that one for the bingo card. Is Sori on the bingo card? I don't think it is. It shall be so. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter. But my warband will be ready to attack by next night. I don't understand how Manthara doesn't already know where the grove is. Not only is it at, at a pretty obvious door right down the road from here, but the dead scouts have been lying out front for days. Zevlor even says the goblins have already found them. I don't know, man. I really do love the cutesy Cult of the Lamb music. It's so good for real. Did you ever start a new run of Cult of the Lamb? No, I, I didn't. I, I don't play a lot of games if i'm being honest with you my life has been consumed by baldur's gate balatro and uh last epoch I, my life has currently just started alternating between those three games like i'll like end the baldur's gate 3 stream and then i'll like go do my stuff for the day you know cook and run errands and do the gym and stuff and then i'll come home and i'll play like balatro for like half an hour a run or something and then i'll play last epoch for an hour and then go to bed why am I green? Because you remember. Wait, you play Balatro? I do. I love me some Balatro. Oh yeah, Minthara's gonna go like give her speech, right? Now we'll follow her around. You do coke? Surely I didn't say that. <laughs> I know I say a lot of stuff, and I don't really pay attention to most of the stuff I say, but I don't think I said I do coke. Are you going to do a solo honor mode run in the future? Oh, I guess that's honor mode run mentioned for all you bingo players. <laughs> Eventually. The in-game map is just like D&D maps where the actual size of the area is shrunken down to a smaller size, but the story treats the area as if it's actually massive. I get that, yeah. It's gonna be a massacre. 
You should shake it up today by casting Eldritch Blast once in a while. Tempting. It's tempting. God, I can't wait until our Charisma modifier is higher. Alright, off we go, gang. Look at them go. We'll know if he starts coke because he'll be sniffing on the mic 24-7. I mean, at least at the start of the streams, I do sniff quite a bit, but I swear it's just because I'm always nasally in the mornings. Can you just AoE them all here? It probably would be a pretty good spot to just AoE them all. Alright. Oh yeah, we need to take a long rest before Oldham and Thara stuff happens, right? Yeah, let's go here and take a long rest. He's massive compared to the Gobos. Yeah, with the Elixir of the Colossus that we took, we're huge. Alright, let's 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 call it a night. Just tuned in. How's today's session going? We just started, man. Good time to tune in. Was that Withers? Did I hear with Withers? This motherfucker. Hey, where did Volo go? Isn't Volo supposed to be here? Should I be worried about that? I want my invisibility seeing eye, Volo. <laughs> Are you going to use the Mirror of Lost plus Ethel's hair to get 24 charisma? I mean... Did he just look for Volo in that desk? So what? You never know. Um, I mean, the Mirror of Lost puts us up to, like, 22 Charisma, and then Ethel's hair could get us up to 23 if it goes over the 20 cap, but I don't see how we'd get to 24 without, like, Birthright, but I don't think we're going to use Birthright. We'll get up to 22 Charisma, don't worry. But things haven't gone as you expect here. You thought a Mind Flayer might know how to extricate one of its own... He ran when he saw the Druid Massacre? Listen, they had it coming. Birthright? Yeah, Birthright's the, uh, it's a hat in Act 3 that you can throw on, and, um, it'll give you plus 2 to your charisma, and it'll go past the 20 cap. Tell me who you are. We know who you are. That's our patron. So what should I be doing? I also do think that I'm going to make a little change to our headcanon story for the build. Um... I think we're going to, to, it, we'll kill you. Have, to have it be like, as we were investigating the Cult of the Absolute on our patron's orders, we got yoinked by, by the Mind Flayers, and then they implanted a parasite from the enemy Elder Brain into our head. So we still have a reason to not want to use Illithid powers, because they're a source from our enemy's power, and we're, we, the only power we want is from our patron, because we're in love with him. In a respectful way. Tell me more about this magic. <laughs> My man's guardian is Steve Harvey, yeah. benefit. Most that harm. But more importantly, it You can get 24 by getting the Stelmane buff with the mirror. I always forget about that. Yeah, the, the Patriarch's stuff, whatever it's called, yeah. Oh, my little baby cat's just staring at me. She's so mad that I'm not playing with her. Is, how the cult of the absolute is Raphael your patron? No, our dream visitor is. The true souls carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive. We are a great old one. We're a, we're a gulak. Makes them obey. When the order to transform is given. Are you forgetting that Steve Harvey is bald? I mean, this is clearly a wig. You've been rather illithid philic in the past few playthroughs. Listen, we're a gulag. We have to at least be somewhat into like the whole tentacly thing, but we're, we're being respectful about it this time. We're simping for him in um, in a Guillermo Fernando type of way, you know, where we just like really like the guy. We think he's really cool and powerful. Um, how is it that you protect me? powers of my own. Unique powers. Will we get mind blown this run? You cannot make me do it two runs in a row. You cannot. Just like you, I 
seek to. The same way I simp for you, Truant. Exactly, Witchy. Respectfully. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot. Tell me that's not a patron relationship right there. If we work together. I was promised blast moaning in this run by you, Matt. I said, I said, maybe. I said we, well, I, I said we could, you know, change the lack of moaning when blasting. Tell me where I can find you. It isn't safe. Yeah, I'm respectful as hell, exactly. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for I already missed the 24-7 moaning. I'll... I'll tell you what, if I get loopy enough throughout this stream, you guys might might hear me moaning when I blast. Oh no. Oh no. I hated it as I said it. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. That's the dialogue I was hoping for. Destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. You're never living it down. Man, I've said so much horrible things on this stream. I, uh... <laughs> I think that's, like, one of the tamer moments. I mean, well, probably not one of the tamer moments, but, you know, it's it's not the worst thing. So, Volo's just gone, guys. Um, like, his, his, this is his table, right? Like, isn't this his stuff? Okay. Well, I guess no invisibility seeing eye for us. I'm not redoing that druid fight, that's for sure. Did you rescue him? Yeah, we did. We even talked to him in camp once. He'll be back. The same thing happened to me. Okay. I'm counting on it. How's the kitty? She's doing good. She's mad about it. Is Barrel Massey loud in this run? No. Oh, the gate's already busted open. When did that happen? Can't help but notice there's a bomb right there. Did they just, like, move her corpse up here? Oh, it's already done. What? What is happening? Okay, we did it, guys. We raided the Emerald Grove! Did you sleep through the fight? I guess, yeah. Wait, is there stream music? Yeah, there's always been stream music. I mean, at least for the past, like five or six streams i think this is one of the buggiest runs of all time yeah i, I could have sworn we were wait how did we just get encumbered oh when we woke up we must have been encumbered because of the uh, elixir wearing off i'm losing my mind man mark encumbrance oh yeah that's for the bingo players goddamn uh Well, we we did it. Praise the absolute. She <laughs> Minthara didn't notice we weren't there. She was like, that was so sick. Was it carnage? There were few left alive. You began the slaughter without me, I assume. Please say uh-uh. I'm not you can't you can't you're gonna have to do better than that if you want me to say something specific. Pushing my cat away. She's trying to get on the desk. Um, glad to have helped. I made sure they were she ready to fall. To serve the absolute. She loves you fiercely. I, see that. I happen to know of a cool robe Strength. called the potent robe she that Goonly would probably like. Excuse you, it's Goomly. So 
Although I think you're familiar enough with him that you can call him by his first name, Gunter. I can see what you are. Bruin, I'm not playing bingo. Can you say scringly scrongle? I can I can do that. What is Theodosia? He's my little baby cat. Theodosia, enough. Little girl. Skin glistening with sweat. Hands bound. Oh my god. Oh, I think that was a bingo play. You got me with the bingo right there. Ah. Oh, wow. Reject the vision. Uh-uh. Pulses across your brain. You feel cold metal at your throat. Then you snap back to yourself. I already know your mind. I will know your body. One way or another. I will come to your Ever hear of consent, Minthara? Good we lord. Celebrate this victory. Together. Okay. As you approach your camp, the African American domesticated feline. Theodosia is Bane and Truant is the chosen of Bane. He will deny it. And appears to be chronicling your misdeeds. The goblins praise the absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders. I don't think we're getting the eye this run, man. And you. You fought well, and so did these creatures. Thanks yeah, there's courage. Volo. Now he shows up. If you tire of their company, come to me. I may have other uses for you yet. This one is a true Oh, man. Insight. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. This is clearly a test you by our patron. Close your mind. Keep the parasite out. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. So is Volo backing out of the deal? I, I think he. I think he might be. Yeah. Let's see if he wants to do it right now. Wait, where is he? There he is. Oh, he's still not here. What, what the heck? Volo has ceased to exist. Yeah, we're not going to go for Ethel's eye. He's, he's still not here, guys. Cutscene was lying to us. Apparently, if you resist the Parasite's old game, there's no check for resisting the Astral Touch one. This is true. Can confirm. Okay. How many hours have you played? About 350. Not a joke. That's that's true. About 350. <laughs> I'm going to 7-Eleven. Do you want anything? I'll take some uh, sour cherries or sour patch kids. I love those things. Bingo? You got bingo already? No way. The highborn would prostrate themselves before me for a fleeting taste of my body. Be mine tonight, and you will know why. Back off. I'm not interested. Disappointing. But perhaps you lack the imagination. To I can use. get you some Starburst with milk. I mean, if it's the only thing I'm allowed, I'll take it. Do you have Scratch? Yeah, we have Scratch. As you approach your bunk, you've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Go to bed alone. Uplifted by memories of your recent triumphs. I've been manipulating the conversations. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you play bingo. Make sure to summon Scratch to distract the big golem. What kind of monster are you? But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. I'm going to 7-Eleven on Bring Your Own Cup Day. When is Bring Your Own Cup Day? Good. You're awake. I want to taste your fear. You wouldn't dare kill me. I'm a true soul, same as you. Easy peasy. That might be, but 
that you have not been truly tested yet. <laughs> He's but just invisible. If only you had a way to see I'm through invisibility. Oh, you're so right. I am curious to see if you His potion of invisibility it. never wore off. I watched over you as you slept. Val walks alone. We do. Yes. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you. Made you one of her favorites. He thinks we're beautiful. So clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand. Boy, she really has no plan for it. if you don't want to slice, creeping up loudly with a dagger like a chump. Yeah, she's uh, not great with those stealth checks. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. Man, Mentara is kind of uh, me what I must do to purge kind of yapping now, huh? She told me to decide your okay, okay, buddy. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the yeah, send me to her, totally. Good. I believe you. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there at the heart. He's my wifey. She she is kind of wifey material, yeah. What what is this Moonrise exactly? I have to go walk my dog. Okay, have fun. That was not an illicit power. It was just regular old DC two. She just really wanted to believe us. If your faith is strong. In fairness, she's wearing plate armor. Is that plate armor? I thought it was like medium armor or something. How do I get there? But I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength. Just waiting for the overflowing heterosexu heterosexuality to pass on my gay life raft. That's fair. It's light armor. Oh, okay. Play it when you are in the shadows, yeah, she's failing her sneaking in light armor. And know that you are it even gives plus one stealth. Oh man, she's just real bad at it. Where will I find him? Will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead. Is Halson dead? Uh, probably. I don't know, actually. We will be together in the Absolute's presence. And she will make us her champions. Totally, yeah. Sounds like a great plan. So... It seems I was misinformed when somebody said you get one gift from the Absolute per remaining goblin leader in the last playthrough, which means I spread misinformation. Uh-oh, that's okay. Guys, I don't think Volo's coming back. Did we have tried to free him again? I mean, he wasn't there. <laughs> uh, we love misinformation here in the streams. Yeah, it's so, so true. Hello, just joined. What have I missed? Not much. We uh, did the, the, the Druid Grove raid. Give it a few long rests. I, I hope so. Maybe they, they shipped him off to Moonrise. Okay, well, now that we've done all this, let's head up towards the mountain pass. Hey, Truant, enjoying your milk. I haven't had milk in legitimately like two or three months, even in cereal. I haven't had cereal in that long, so. Not really, given my milk doesn't exist. Bingo? Is milk on the bingo card? What are you drinking? Nothing. Do you cook with milk? No. I mean, like, occasionally, when I when I make, like, you know, KD or something like that, uh, some good old craft dinner, Canadian special, um, but I haven't made KD in, in ages as well. 
Why am I going this way? Why am I going this way, huh? What kind of bozo goes that way? Have you already decided what kind of build you're going to make? Yes, sir. I got some milk and Starburst for you. Thank you. Two people have now gotten bingo. We win these. Unreal. We need to make those bingo cards harder. I feel like they're all basically free spaces. Craft dinner. It's mac and cheese, you heathen. Well, it's like a specific mac and cheese you know like mac and cheese could mean like any mac and cheese kd is a specific mac and cheese it's like the difference between uh you know doritos and chips here you are about to enter will be bitterly difficult for a party of your level <laughs> good thing we're not a party Some of them are literally only possible to win at specific parts of the game. It's not that easy. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of you getting bingo. I love your voice, Truant. Thank you, Jojo. That's very nice of you. Truant Theodosia is holding me hostage. Me too, man. Me too. You demand so much from me. I work so hard to put food on the table for her. She just yells at me. And when I don't give her attention, she just yells at me more. It's too much, man. That's the only way. But she's such a cutie pie, so it makes up for it. Swift as my feet can carry. I gave you that specific recipe for mac and cheese, Truant. I'd recommend adding some extra panko crumbs. Noted. I do need to make that one day. I, um... I don't think we need anything from this lady. I've been trying to cook more, but man, it's, uh... It's not been going well. Not in the sense that I'm, like, burning my food, but it's ju just in the kind of sense that I've not been cooking often. At least new meals. I've just been cooking, like, the same stuff over and over. Which is mostly just chicken and rice, for those who are curious. We do not have a lot of money. I've noticed this. We don't have a ranged weapon equipped. Interesting. Um, that's okay. I don't think we need anything from her. Lady, I'm busy. What do you want? All business. Very well. Are you going to visit your wife soon? I didn't realize I had one. Inside that temple. Oh, oh, you're talking about Ajak near Jira? Yeah, yeah, we're going to hit her up in a second. It in what remained after they slaughtered all of the monks. I'm cooking some bacon and rice right now, you wise man. Hey, bacon and rice, it's another classic. The Society of Brilliance tasked me with acquiring one of their eggs in order to settle a dispute. I don't think we're gonna do this. Less than successful. And if the gif ever see me again. I'll take the quest just in case. You have a ranged weapon, it's called Eldritch Blast, exactly. To retrieve an egg. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Oats my goats, lady. We'll do payment up front. See how this goes. Ah, it didn't work. That would have been nice. I don't think I want to use inspiration for this. But it will help us with gold. Okay, it didn't work anyways. He scams you, though, 300 for a living being? Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Okay. Imagine a monastery full of full-level tavern brawler open-hand monk thieves against the Gith. I mean... Monastery full of that build is going to destroy anything anyways. Ah, uh, no. Can you use grease on this to loosen it up? We're going to do some testing. Give it a second. We'll get up. 
What is your plan for the librarian? I, I don't even know who the librarian is. Might not be the time. Maybe not. Why? Why not? Okay, I guess Greets doesn't work. Can we Eldritch Blast it to make it spin? Okay. Good to know. Time to go the long way. You can hit the librarian in the Temple of Shar from the archway before the stairs. Are you talking about the... Oh, that guy in the Temple of Shar. I, I never even fight that guy. I, I very rarely even go into that room. What does this key unlock? Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, for the spear. I mean... Yeah, we just can't use the spear anyways, so I never really go in there. Is this called to the lamb music? It sure is. Does the bludgeoning damage work against the wheel? Yeah, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I mean, if force damage doesn't do anything. Okay. I think the plan here is we're just going to get inside and go straight towards the crush. And then we'll buy the knife of the Undermountain King. That's and enough. then we will come Why back upstairs and test out our new power up on the uh, on the kobolds as is tradition. Oh my goodness, she swore. What is the rough plan for today? So we're gonna hit up the crash, get the knife of the Undermountain King. And then we are Anyone going to, to join, huh? head to the Underdark. Like and we're gonna do all the Grimforge now, stuff. The captain is expecting you. And then I think we're gonna do Auntie Ethel after that. And then I think after that, we're gonna come back here and clean up the gith. Let's go down this way. What even is the difference between bludgeoning damage and force damage? Always drove me crotchety. Man, I don't know. I guess force damage is more like... Concussive? Uh, but then it's kind of like thunder damage. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> This just got more oomph to it. Is this another evil playthrough? This is, yes. Evil, evil guys. Is this not an entrance into the crash shop down here? Do you have Scratch? We we have him in camp. Don't have the summon for him. Force is more like energy. Is bludgeoning not just kinetic energy? I've never gone through this way before. Uh, I'm gonna save in case they like get real mad at me. The artifact of feeling stirs uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Force damage is confusing, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be pure magical energy or something. I don't think so, because smoke powder bombs are, are force. Bludgeoning is more force from a direct hit. Oh, the key opened that door. Oh, interesting. Well, it's a good thing that we went down the trap route then. I feel like intimidation is never going to work against Gith. We'll, we'll try Persuasion, see how this goes. Easy, every time. I think Force is more like a shockwave, but Bludgeoning is more like things hitting each other. 
Is Eldritch Blast not like directly hitting something though? Are you gonna get Lathandra's Piss Laser? Nah, I don't think it's fitting for this character. Where the hell is my waifu? Oh, there she is. What's up, lady? I was I was expecting you. Hold up, we, we need to be like lounging on the stool when she comes in. Howdy! Ugh, blood, rust, scar. Is there no if anything is a shockwave, wouldn't it be thunder? Degree? I'd heard this plane was disgusting. Yeah. But I didn't think it would be like this. Who has been the sexiest to have? Bartholomew, obviously. Fine, but your paraphernalia had better be pristine. Twelve hundred, huh? I was really hoping it would be better than that with our charisma being as high as it is. I mean, 17, I guess, which is phenomenal. Ah, uh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's see what we can manage. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Here, have some just straight up garbage real quick. Some real dookie. We're never really going to use this or this. Uh, I'll keep this just in case. I think we can get there. It depends on how much stuff we have in our camp chest. Let's uh, go grab it. Force is red, that's why it's force damage. You're, you're so right, yeah. Any Volos in camp? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well. Is there no take all button again? Can you not pick up everything? Oh my good lord. What the hell? Why can't I take this hammer? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I guess we're doing this one by one. Head scratch, please. We'll get them on the on our next trip. Open your inventory and drag. Okay, we'll try that. Why did I just gain 120 experience? <laughs> What is happening, man? What's our current AC at? Oh, we accidentally equipped the freaking leather armor. How did that happen? Insufficient gold, oh no. Uh, we don't really need like acid arrows or fire arrows or potions of sleep or... Most of this stuff. We don't need silver pendant. Oh, this is kind of a pain. Because we're like, we're like pretty close to being able to buy it, I think, with everything that we have in camp. But we can't grab everything we have in camp. Uh, okay, hold up. God, don't make me walk all the way around. I'm begging you. The homoerotic wizard came up to me and took my out. I don't know what his deal was, but he was calling me Gunter. Oh, man. Got the wrong person. Okay. Thanks for the tip, gang. Can't take that, huh? Oh, we'll get it on the next trip. Okay, let's give this a whirl. We won't really be using the uh, spell sparkler after this either. Yeah, 
Okay, there you go. That is the knife of the Undermountain King. Easy peasy. Got 54 gold left. Reduces the number we need to roll a critical hit while attacking by one. And when we roll two damage or less, we get a reroll of the dice, taking the highest result. Pretty good. Increases our damage by, by a decent bit. Equip the spell sparkler for the love of God. Yeah, we just accidentally unequipped it when we uh, threw on the... Are we gaining proficiency? Or are we gaining the AC with the shield even though we don't have proficiency with it? We are. Interesting. Yeah, it just got unequipped when we um, were doing all this stuff, but we're not going to be using it anyways. We're going for a crit fishing build. I know it's not the most optimal build, but I like to see crits. <laughs> Okay, so we got our Knife of the Undermountain King, which we are not proficient with either. And we've got our Club of Hill Giant Strength in our other hand. Actually, we want this the other way around, because we are proficient with this. So we can actually swing with this on occasion. There you go. So what happens if you... Does non-proficient shield not block spellcasting? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. What happens if we do actually... Okay, it blocks spellcasting. That makes sense. That's A-OK. -okay. So now we crit 15% of the time. 18, 19, 20. The most optimal is knife and spell sparklers dual wield and boost rever reverberation super build. I can see that. I could definitely see that. Uh, we are going for reverberation and whatnot. We're just going to do it without the spell sparkler. Which is still going to work like pretty fine. I'm just going to double check I didn't screw up like any of my other items when I was trying to get all those that gear into our inventory. Why not use perma giant strength pot? I mean, why bother honestly for this build? Besides the fact that I also just don't like builds that rely on elixirs. Okay, so now we've got this. Let's head upstairs and go test it out. I think that was the wrong portal. Go test it out on the... I didn't get the portal in the crash. Should have done that. Oh, well. Let's go test out our build on these kobolds. Last lock warlock. You know it. What subclass are you going for? Uh, sword, Fiend, or Fae? We're, we're, none of those, actually. We're going with a Gulak. But you rely on the weapon? No, we, no, we don't. Yeah, we're we're gonna definitely be using viciousness elixirs whenever we get them for major fights, but we've yet to find one, which is okay. Okay, let's uh let's start bullying people, huh? I love bullying people. You should have picked a race with medium armor proficiency and pick moder moderately armored feet. My guy. What kind of armor do you think we're wearing? Okay. Lightning. Lightning. Eldritch Blast. Ooh. That didn't deal like nearly as much damage as I was hoping for. I'm going to be real with you. For a crit hit. upsetting we rolled a two okay that's okay we're gonna move here and then drop a cloud of daggers in the doorway and then we'll just keep blasting blasting away i 
I'm sad today Larian removed the only way to cheese vendors on console. Yeah, that would make me pretty sad too. I wonder if we can blast this guy into the doorway. Kind of a rough angle, huh? We'd probably be better off just... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's rough. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> that takes an action. My god. My god, what am I doing with my life? That's okay. We'll get them as they come out of the room. We'll get them in, in this doorway here. Shield dwarves do not have shield proficiency. Yeah, that's correct. It's uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of wacky, even. Okay, we'll provoke this attack of opportunity. Move out. Drop a cloud of daggers right here. And then move around the bend a little bit, a wee bit. Do a little healing. Yes, into the cloud of daggers. <laughs> you know what could make this build stronger? Potent robe. You're so right. Does anyone know in console how to equip the melee weapon after using a bow? I hate when I attack with the bow and can't opportunity attack because he stays with the bow equipped. I haven't the faintest idea, but I'm sure somebody here knows. Um, I wonder if throwing fire would be enough to kill these guys here. I bet you an arrow of fire could do it. Give it a whirl, huh? Well, that really sucks. I was not expecting either of them to hit, if I'm being honest with you. Why do they have advantage? Do they have pack tactics? They do. Good to know, huh? Good to know. That's okay. We'll just do... Another little cloud of daggers. Right up there. Then we'll misty step this way. Run through the cloud of daggers, run through it. Mahaha. <laughs> Okay, now we care less about losing our concentration. But they do have pack tactics, so we don't want to die here. Hmm, 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 hmm. We could... How much damage do they deal on average? Because we can definitely tank some hits here. On average, they deal... What, like 3 plus 3 minus 1? On average, they deal 15 with 3 attacks that land. And then we could blow them up and just run around the corner and heal up. I don't hate that idea. Okay, we'll do the healing up first. How about that? There you go. And we'll drop an arrow of fire on these guys right here. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I like that. Is that guy gonna burn to death? Sure is. Aren't the kobolds drunk, so pack tactics makes it normal roll? 
I don't think they are drunk. They have Firewine Belly. Whoops, it's not, not the button I meant to press. Yeah, they have disadvantage on charisma and dexterity checks. Very important. Uh, you know what? We'll just do another fire arrow. No need to overcomplicate things. Just blow them up. And then I think they're just kind of dead here. Easy experience. Let's go get some more easy experience from the kobolds in the barrels. If we can get level 5, that would make me a happy, happy camper. It's a fire wine barrel. I don't think there's a guy in there. Can they be in here, actually? I think there's one in... Yeah, they, they are in here. One in here, at least. Our offhand melee attack, like, really isn't that bad. Where's the plus two come? Oh, that's just, for, it's like, built-in weapon mod, huh? Uh, obviously, we don't want to do that, though, because, uh, then we'd be in melee, and we're not big fans of that. Hmm. You gonna collect any of the barrels with the kobolds in them in any playthrough and throw them into other battles? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't really... I don't know. I mean, I know, I guess we could, but it's like, is that, is that barrel Nancy? <laughs> Man. We'll get better at hitting, I promise. Soon, very soon. Fighting Ethel's gonna be rough as hell, though. She's got a pretty high AC. Interesting. That was a, a, a neat dash. We got a critical miss before we got a critical hit with our critical hit build. <laughs> this is upsetting, guys. This is pretty upsetting. Yeah, there's no way you hit, right? Yeah, didn't think so. There's a hit. We did roll, like, literally minimum damage, but it is a hit. X him. Yeah, we probably should. Okay, I'll... Hmm. I don't think I will, actually. I think I'm just gonna save our spell slots for the fight upstairs. We, like, we don't need spell slots to deal with these guys. They're... They're weak. We deal... We're supposed to deal a decent amount of damage. On average, our hits are dealing 9 damage. Uh, and that's excluding crits. And that's also excluding the fact that we re-roll ones and twos on our damage rolls. So, like, on average, it, it should not take us this long to hit them. We are supposed to be re-rolling ones and twos. Unless they changed uh, it so that it only works on attacks with the actual knife. I, we should be shoving, though. Now that our, like, strength is, like, pretty good, we should be shoving, for sure. Hey, there's a crit hit. I mean, it, it expands our crit range either way, at the very least, which is proven there, so... Technically, you could go Devil Sight in Darkness to gain a solid advantage by becoming one with shadows. Yeah, don't worry. We will take Devil Sight at our next level. Somebody said that the weight is different on the ones with kobolds in them. I don't think it is, because that one only has weighs 10 pounds or 10 kilos, whatever system we're using here. Okay, buddy. Come at me. Whichever way you're going. No double hand crossbow for bonus action attacks? I mean, we're not proficient with them.
I didn't shove again. I don't know why I didn't shove. I also don't know why I ran over here. I thought there was a ladder here. It's on that side. That's okay. It's all part of the strategy. He's going to run up to us, and then we're going to go around, we're going to shove him off this edge. All part of the plan, boys. See, that's, that's what we should be doing. That's how those fights should be going. I wish you could see the damage rolls uh, on the actual, like, 2D tens. I want to see if they're doing the reroll. You don't need to beat a bonus action attack. I mean, yeah, I guess we, like, might as well, but it's just, it's never going to do anything. Hey, this is a fast guy. Did you see the shovel council in your Discord yesterday? I did. There's there's quite the shovel stands in the Discord server. Get back down there, buddy. It will state reroll in combat log if there is a reroll. Interesting. So I guess it isn't rerolling ones and twos. At least the expanded crit range is working. Which is the main thing. What item is giving you reverberation? That's the boots of stormy clamor. Athletics failed. Rude. Also rude. It rerolls melee attacks? You'd think it would say that. <laughs> Level 5 will be solid as not only two blasts with separate 1d10 plus charisma, but if you're packed at the tome, you get access to a spell. Yeah, exactly. Level 5 is going to be such a huge power spike for us. And we won't be struggling dealing with one kobold at a time. Good lord. Our chance to crit will also get, like, much, much better. Yeah, that's right. Get knocked prone. Wait, wait. Don't walk into melee range. What is this build? I'm used to lightning charges from Bolt and bonus crossbow attack, but I haven't tried solo. This is... I mean, it's the same basic concept. We're just not using the, the, the extra hand crossbow. I mean, we might as well. It's... You know what? I'll tell you what, guys. I'll, I'll get the bonus action hand crossbow. I'll find another one. We'll throw it on. It's just instead of using lightning charges, we're going uh, for crit, max crit fishing with Knife of the Underground King. We're not dual wielding, so we can't... Uh, or we don't have the dual wielder feet, so we can't do the spell sparkler dual wielder. Are you going to get the risky ring? I know it's not as good for solo. I'm, I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm definitely going to try it. Yeah, get me back down here. I don't mean to bully you into crossbow, I was just curious. No, you you guys are right. It's pro it's like, there's no reason not to have dual hand crossbows. Uh, especially because we do still crit on the 18, 19, 20 with the hand crossbows. Uh, oh, I guess it's just 19. This spell sniper expand the crit range of every ability, not just spells. On the subject of shield dwarves not getting shield provision, he casts in 5e, don't get dark vision. Yeah, it's some wacky stuff. There's a mild exploit that allows wielding a staff and light weapon without the wielder feet. I, I probably won't use it, but I am curious. Spell sniper is spells only? Yeah, that's what I thought. Either way, we still crit on the 1920 with hand crossbows, which has a chance to frighten. It'll give us something extra to do with our bonus action. To ask. Haven't had enough yet? Got any hand crossbows? You sure do. 125. How much gold do we have? 54? You can have that hammer. You can have that silver pendant. I'm okay trading away the detect thoughts amulet if I'm being real with you. Certainly don't need a bone or the nut buster. What are these tongs? All right, there you go. go on then. Be All 
This is your bonus action offhand attack. I wonder why you need to have two to be able to do this, like from your character's perspective, you know? Yeah, sorry guys, the nut buster was, was le less important than the one gold we got from it. I'm gonna grab the uh, waypoint while we're down here. So I don't forget this time. Technically, what do work is the lightning staff you get for saving the Raven Guard Advisor, but I understand the different priority. I don't... I don't understand what that statement means. Like, I know the lightning staff is good, that's why we got it for a little while. Uh, and it's honestly probably better than the Knife of the Undermountain King with the whole crit fishing build. But I just like the idea of going max on crit fishing, you know? This is not an honor mode certified build by any means, but that's why we're playing on Tactician, so we can play a little suboptimally. So we can do some goofy little builds. Alright, let's go deal with those those uh, Grimish guys. Feels really nice just having more jump distance too, I gotta admit. You know, take a step back so I don't, like, trigger their passive from outside of the room. Uh, I should probably heal up, like, a little bit. I don't want to waste a short rest. But I'll, I'll use a couple potions. Alrighty, fellas. Where are you? Alright, we don't have our scene visibility eye. Okay, we've got scrolls of it. Applies reverberation. Interesting. What is happening? <laughs> um, that's that's a bummer. <laughs> we'll drop a little cloud of daggers right on these three right here. I don't really care about that, huh? Interesting. I, I thought they would mind a little more. And it just used my action. Because I tried to crouch because they didn't trigger on us yet. Cool! Alright. Alright, game. Alright, I see you. We'll just back up to the edge here. What? What? What just happened there? <laughs> what? Step one, equip two light weapons. Step two, have companion wield weapon of choice and shield. Step three, right click on the offhand weapon slot. Step four, choose the shield wielded by commander. Step five, the weapon that is being wielded by the commander will be equipped in the offhand slot. Interesting. Can you void bulb to knock them off the edge? I legitimately don't know if that knows. Like down here, probably. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. How did this cat get up here, by the way? Like what what happened with that? Can we hit it from here? No. Okay, well we're blasting. That's that one, Dad. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Cat on the roof, you're so right. What? Oh, there's a hole. There's a little hole. Why are they going up there? <laughs> Better question. Ooh, <laughs> roof cat. Yeah, they're they're going up there, man. Uh, I mean, we could just, like, recast Cloud of Daggers and, like, guaranteed kill all of these guys. I don't hate that idea. But I also don't think they can jump, so I think we're, we're good just, like, blasting them.
There's always a hole. Yeah, apparently. Famous last words. Surely they can't jump. I mean, they would have done it by now if they could, right? Like, that guy could probably jump. Oh, he can enhance jump even. And go invisible. Interesting. Well, <laughs> that might kill us. We'll just cloud of daggers on it. Honestly, no need to no need to worry too much. This is why we have another spell slot. There you go. And I'm I'm probably gonna drop this just so I don't run into it myself by accident because that seems like the type of thing I would do. Only you had Volo's eye. Yeah, I mean I also have a C invisibility scroll active, but that also didn't feel like working so. 50% of the time, Volo's Eye works every time. Pretty much, yeah. They get random effects when you cast spells? Yeah, yeah, they, they do. But it's only if you're, like, near them, which is why these ones aren't doing anything now. I'm gonna, uh, custom bind another thing for you. I know, I know, it's the hashtag not my truant, but... No, we're, we're, uh, we're getting wacky with it. Critical miss. I think since I've gotten the Knife of the Undermountain King, I have rolled more- Whoa, they can jump. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Would like to shove you off the edge. Apparently that's not allowed. Why- why not? Why can't I reach this destination? What is happening, dude? Get out of here, dog. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was that was interesting. Oh, you're actually expecting important mechanics to actually work? How dare you? Yeah, I know. Not in my Baldur's Gate. One damage. Oh no. Wait, where did that cat go? Did we kill it? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, shit. We got too close to these guys. What, what, what just happened? They exploded. Okay, we will get this guy. There you go. You just gotta manifest it. I sure hope Theodosia doesn't see what you're doing. She's asleep right now. But she'd understand, you know? She's a little huntress at heart. We gotta get our XP in. Calling <laughs> Peta on Truant for throwing a cat. Listen, man. I do throw Thea Theodosia sometimes, but she seems to enjoy it. You know, she'll like run up to me, I'll like throw her on the couch, and then she'll like run up to me again, I'll just do it again. She's she's into it. She's having a good time. How are you able to use a weapon attack as a bonus action? If you dual wield weapons, you can um, make the offhand one as a bonus action. As a cat owner, I agree. They they do love being thrown. Yeah, they, they they really enjoy it. There's a crit hit. You love to see it. Okay, now we need to figure out how to get to that other cat um, somehow. Oh, is it coming down to us? Kind of. Oh, there you go. Oh, it has armor of Agathus on it. I should have walked away before I did that, huh? You know, I'll jump into here. We're swapping sides. You good, bruv? Just gonna stand there now? I'm okay blasting you from here. I'm gonna be real with you. 
<laughs> we had the dual wielding thing turned on. It automatically used my action too. Oh my goodness. So you, you can jump that gap. We have disadvantage on throwing it because it's too close. Why does that happen? Nope, that's a fail. Okay. This game has so many things that confuse me. Hit chance is not great. That is that is correct. It's going to get better uh, next level, and then it'll get better after we take down Ethel. And then hopefully we're like, okay, by then. Why is the push so bad? Like, we're, we're like a pretty strong guy, right? There you go, toss him some more cats. Hey guys, I couldn't be there last time, but it's so nice to be here now. How are you all doing? We're doing pretty good. Thanks for being here, Rainbow Mushroom. Hmm, apparently that makes it unstable. Gramishka spawn. It made another one. It gave birth. It was pregnant. Happy days. Now we, we're gonna kill both it and its child. Okay, hill giant strength. I mean, I really don't think we need to, man. This fight does not seem like it's going in their favor. Use fireball. You're so right. We'll kill him eventually. We'll get him eventually. Hello, how goes the blasting? Slow going, slow going. That's for sure. Just spawned another one? Did it full heal too? Like, we can't blast them from back here. Like, we have to be in range of their magic allergy. <laughs> they made a third one and full deal. We're gonna be here forever, guys. <laughs> I think Potent Robe would help with this fight. Okay, Potent Robe would help with this fight. Yes, but we, we're also still in Act 1. Uh, I, did, I forgot to do the extra bonus action shot. It wouldn't have worked anyways. Good lord. It never ends. It's hastened, it's got mirror image, it's- this thing's a monster, it's enlarged. <laughs> Infinite XP exploit? I'm kind of curious if they actually do give, um, more XP. Like if the spawned ones do. I really wish those force explosions, like, hit their- themselves, you know? I need it to make another cat? That would be pretty funny. Hey, Leo, how's it going? I definitely want to see the number of rounds at the end. It's gonna be- uh, it's gonna be high, yeah. We're getting, like, Merkle levels of, uh, impossible to kill here. Hey, there's a crit hit. Hmm. Okay, there you go. It's one down. They do give experience. I mean, not a lot, mind you, but they give experience. Infinite XP hack. I've never seen such a long Gramishka fight. Keep in mind, we're supposed to be critting, like, one out of, like, eight Eldritch Blasts, too. Is the Panther ever going to reveal itself, by the way? Asking for a friend. Got lethargic. He ran out. I think you need to go down there and throw them off the cliff. Ah, we're doing this. It's gonna happen. It's gonna work. That didn't even trigger its magic allergy. Whoa! Watch us die at the end of this. One E blast because the other seven blasts are misses. Yeah, we're also supposed to be hitting most of the time. Too heavy to throw. 
I really wish I could understand why I'm not allowed to shove them here. Like that would that would that would make me really happy if somebody could tell me that. Why? Okay, we can shove you there. You you no longer have magic allergy because you're a panther now. But we'll just we'll just blast you. And we'll we'll move back here. Go out and try to shove a tiger, Matt. Well we we just did shove the panther. Okay, it's invisible again. Oh good lord, this thing has a mirror image and is hastened again. Oh good god, we're gonna be here forever. Just die, goddammit, die. <laughs> Maybe this is why your gear likes cats so much, yeah. Oh, good lord. One damage! One damage! <laughs> oh, the reverberation killed it. I think that was a real one. Or is the panther the real one? Okay. Please see it. No? Okay, we're just gonna use our body as bait, I guess. Really? We're on combat round 32. <laughs> this is like almost as long as it took us to kill Casador <laughs> in our last playthrough. <laughs> there you go. You motherfucker, what the hell? <laughs> Reveal yourself, beast. What? <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Okay. Guess we'll just stand in the fire. No! Don't provoke the attack of opportunity. We're like literally right next to it. We can't get any closer to it. Okay, never mind. We can, apparently. We can be... Walk through its tail. Good lord, we're gonna die! Please, kill it, Gunther. Kill it, Gunther. No! We've rolled- I swear to god, we've rolled more crit misses than we have crit hits. Okay, it's dead. And we got three experience for that one, too. I could have sworn one of them was real, right? Did it reduce the amount of experience that we got? Oh my god, what the hell? That was a nightmare fight, guys. That was- that was catastrophic. Oh, good lord. How long did this take? That took a while, man. Infinite XP forever, yeah. We were just XP farming, guys. Okay, there's no real other, like, easy fights here. Um, I was really hoping to hit level 5 before trying to head to Grimforge, though. So I think we might try... Let's go talk to the, uh... Talk to the Gith. Over by the mountain pass area. I hope... Wait, did, they might have gotten progressed there. Huh? Because we came in here? I don't know. We'll go check. Catastrophic, yeah. <laughs> okay. Worst case, we could just, like, walk around and explore a bunch of areas. Blighted Village. I think is our closest waypoint. Yeah, that was something like 36 rounds. I, I'll double check for you guys. I really wanted it to die from fall damage. I would. I just wanted it to die at that point. I'm going to be real with you. I think Gunter is mega cursed. Yeah, our rolls have, have not been it. That was... 34 rounds. I wonder if crit bills are better with karmic dice off. I mean, we have karmic dice off, so I don't think so. <laughs> I wanted to blade some balls to get three after work, but I guess I gotta watch this now instead. Sorry, you're trapped. Because he hasn't met his patron yet. Trust the process exactly. 
The Emperor is just a terrible patron. Respect to a new patron, this one sucks, yeah. Great dookie. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go see if we can have a chat with the... The big scary gith over yonder. That was actually unreal, though. I, I I wasn't keeping track of the crits as opposed to crit misses, but I'm pretty sure we crit missed more than we crit hit in that fight, which is uh, not how it should be. He needs a cute bow in his hair or something? Yeah, like that one picture of Raphael. There's our autosave. I don't know if quick loads go back to autosave, so I'm just gonna quick save too. Okay, there's a, there's the dragon, so I'm assuming we can still chat with these guys. Yeah, we're level four. I'm just gonna do the dialogue to get the experience from these guys, which I, I think gives us like 500 or something. Oh, no, nope, they're not here. It did progress. Bummer. He's a crit fisher for both hits and misses. Yeah, he just wants... Uh, he just likes to see the red text. Okay. Uh, where can we go for experience, then? We can fill out the map a little bit. We can fight these guys. They're gonna give, like, li literally baby experience, though. Hmm. I really like to save areas for when I'm actually gonna do them, though. It makes it so much easier when I'm editing and, like, having it all cohesive. Um... Uh, Yeah, you know, we could we could go check out the Underdark and try and do some stuff down there. There's not a ton of easy fights in the Underdark though. We could just explore. We did the spider fight yesterday. I I don't think we have it in us to take on the gnolls right now. The gnolls are a hard, hard fight. We could probably do the harpies. True, we could do bowl. Road knolls before Flint. I don't think we can do the knoll the knolls like period. I'm gonna be real with you. Like not after that display. That was awful. Imagine if those Gramishkas were attacking us three times around. We almost died to them anyways, and they were attacking like once around. At best. Uh I'm just gonna tell you what, we're gonna get the exploration. No, we'll just go to the... We'll just go to the Underdark. We'll do Bowl. Yeah. Can't you use the Tadpole power on the Flint? You get full XP. Uh, we're not allowed to use Illithid powers. Uh, let's save... What's-his-face. And then we'll do Bowl. Got so humbled by the gnolls on my duo run, it's embarrassing, honestly. That fight is, is real hard. Damn your integrity, yeah. Uh, we could get... We could get Glut to come with us. This is also the wrong way for... Oh no, this is the right way for saving him? I was like, where the heck is he? Do we have a scroll of Misty Step, perchance? We have an amulet of Misty Step. I don't think he's going to use that, though. I didn't get the quest for him. We should get the quest for him first, just to make sure we get the experience. I'm sure she'd give it to us anyways, but just, just to be safe. Why do you pronounce it like Bowl? Is that a Canadian thing? Is that not how his name is spelled? Is he not like B-O-A-A-L? Bowl? Why would you ever lie about this? Like, yeah, I've, I've you know, well, screw it. We're gonna find out why we would lie about this. Where? Uh, you see him again? Tell him to get back here. To <laughs> okay. Me. He's over jealous. It is. I thought it was Bual. Bual. Okay. Sorry, my bad. Bual. Okay. Need some help finding him. Don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. 
You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old life. How confident are you about the whole crit fishing strategy? Oh, I think it's like really bad right now, but I do think it's going to pop off, pop off pretty soon. Uh, once we get more beams and we actually start hitting, then I think we're like pretty, pretty good. We're going to be pretty tight, especially once we have access to, to darkness and, or not darkness, but yeah, devil's sight. They literally say Buol when you talk to them. I talked to them once on like my first playthrough and I'm, I'm not going to lie. I skipped through most of the dialogue. <laughs> Bibber bang. Bibber bang. Favorite line of dialogue right there. That's fair, honestly. The way they speak is a little grating, yeah. <laughs> speak plainly, won't you? Toxic. I can't see you play. When I do, I feel like a goose playing this. You know, that's actually nice to hear, because this build has is, is not been kind to me so far. How did he get stuck there? That's a phenomenal question. Thank you. So we could totally just like throw on our boots of speed and just like dash over there, right? Just like do a little bit of this. Uh, we could jump up here too. No need to overcomplicate things. I changed my mind like right after I put the boots on. Then we'll uh, pick up the torch so that nothing horrible happens. Move this over here. Thank you kindly. I don't want to throw both of these. There you go, buddy. I did see some short say if you steal the weapon off the fish and then tell Bu Buol you will kill for them, you get the buff, but I haven't tested it. You have to not have any party member with you. Oh, interesting. Maybe I'll test that. Actually, I don't think this character would do that. I don't think he would like, submit to Buol. Holy shit, I never knew I could do that. It's kind of hidden, yeah. Right, as, uh, what were you saying? Medaris, she's uh, waiting for you. I must need to go. For you, your trouble. Ta. Thanks, buddy. So, what happens if you blow up the bibber bang now that there's no torch? Does like anything bad happen? Not really. I mean, they're toxic, so don't walk in there. But. No oh, chain reaction makes this uh, seem like it would be a little tedious. Eh, we don't care too much about the noble stock. Stinky gas cloud, yeah. I was really hoping for a chain reaction and then just like wait for it to clear, but <laughs> I don't have the patience to blast them all one by one and then grab the noble stock. On my evil run, I removed the torch and then blew them up. Balin died of poison. Brutal. I honestly don't think killing Balin is the worst thing, though. He's, he's not the best guy. If you take poison resistance, you can just walk through it now, right? I mean, it deals poison damage. You don't become immune to poison damage. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. One time in Evil playthrough, I blew it up with him in there, and he just walked out, not a scratch on him. <laughs> oh no, he's much more powerful than we thought. Love, <laughs> never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like no you could grab Glut and just move it with him. Oh, true, true, you could do that. He doesn't trigger the bibber bang at all. Neat. Sixty experience for that. Good lord, this is gonna take forever. Hmm. 
Okay, let's do the the bull guys. Which where are they? They're like not too far from They're like closer to the arcane tower, right? I'm pretty sure they're closer to the arcane tower. Near entrance to arcane tower, kind of? Yeah, okay. I wasn't even trying to be clever. I just didn't know the mushrooms would explode and didn't know I missed content. Oh. When you walked through the Bibberbang and killed him before he could talk to me? Yeah, I... I think I did that on my first playthrough, too. It was a, a little annoying. I feel like the... Where am I going? I feel like the trigger for the dialogue should be, like, a little further away. Because that's what happened to me, too. I got, like, too close too fast, and they just, like, instantly blew up. What is the build you're going for this time? We're going a crit fishing gulag. It's not off to a good start, but hey, that's okay. It's a little bit of a goofy build. But let me tell you, if it works, oh boy, it's gonna work. And then it's just like over here. Yeah, it's over there. I'm gonna blow this stuff up. Oh. I was nowhere near that. That's baloney. <laughs> I disagree with you, game. Cult of the Lamb music today, yeah. Can you get the crit elixir this early in the game? I don't know. I haven't. I've, I've yet to see one. The radius is so weird. It, it is pretty whack, yeah. Gunther is just unlucky at this point. Yeah, he's uh, he's going through it. Stuff like that is why I don't trust this game enough to do honor mode. Man, when we um when we died to our web breaking under us in the spider fight, when we cast a shatter on an entirely different web, I was so mad. Like the game's going to have to work hard to regain my trust after that one. Man, we are we are low on potions. Hopefully we don't need a lot of health to deal with these guys. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see how this goes. So if I remember correctly, we can talk our way out of this, but I don't know if we need a companion for that. Uh, so we'll we'll see. Cool drip the zealous. Up, dude. Our blood to fill your oceans. Oh, blessed Pohal. Funny how this unlucky as hell guy is going for a crit fishing build. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not the best choice. Hitbox for accidentally clipping Elder Brain with Globe of Invulnerability is the worst. Yeah, that was that was ridiculous. It was like, not only was it like, not even a piece of it was in the globe, but it was nowhere even close to being in the globe. You can play honor mode and then when slash if you die resume in tactician. We could, yeah, we could. I might start doing that with runs in the future. Honestly, I I'm starting to get like really used to tactician, and I do think the change of pace might be nice for for honor mode with the added legendary actions and stuff. But I don't know. I've yet to try out, uh, try it out, and see the difficulty and stuff, but we'll see. Um, what have you stumbled in on? Easy crit every time. Blade. It's no religious totem. It belongs to a common red cap. Fey creatures known for their bloodlust. I wish that if you multiclassed into cleric after this encounter, you could become a cleric of uh, Bual. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. We'll see what happens if we go with this persuasion check.
I do much prefer the game with legendary actions, but I'm not sure how well it would go with Lone Wolf. Yeah, I think it might be a little restrictive in terms of what we could do with our builds, which, like I said, I like going goofy builds like this one. So, we'll see. It's the guy. Ah, bollocks. Don't do anything hasty now. The fish folk got played. I'm trying to do an Arthas Menethil playthrough. Paladin is OP. Yeah, Paladin's really good. I was thinking of going Paladin for my honor mode run. What? Shut it, you. I'm okay with dying because I was not prepared for a fight, but stuff like my thrown weapon vanishing in thin air is not what I'd enjoy. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we've, we've died so many times already in this run alone, so weird little glitches. Hmm. If we say this, is it a one-on-one -on -one or do the other guys come in? They probably come in too, huh? Goofy build. Warlocks blasters are actually pretty much pickable in solo honor runs. Well, I mean, like, we're going a suboptimal version of it. They will all fight you? That's what I thought, yeah. You yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Bulls Gate 3 wiki says the Critter Elixir starts spawning in shops at level 6. Good to know. How many hours do you have? 350. Which one of the Lone Wolf playthroughs has been your favorite? I really liked the uh, Illithid Powers only one. You could do a custom game with the exact same difficulty as honor mode. You need a tiny mod to let you turn off the single save settings of custom after the game starts, though. Yeah, I might end up doing that in the future. Okay, that leveled us up. 750 experience. It doesn't look like we got the permanent boon. Which is, yeah, that's fine. But either way, that's level 5. We got Bull's Sickle. Bull. That has Bull's Blessing. Oh, it's on the Sickle. I see. Sorry, I thought it was a permanent boon that, like, applied to our characters. Interesting. That is Sickle, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Either way, that's level five. Killing Orin with a sickle would be a funny irony. I do think it would be fun to try and make a build with that sickle work. I think that would be a fun time. Level five is pretty huge for us. Uh, I haven't thought much about what, what spell we want to go for at this level. Probably Arms of Hadar. Yeah, I mean, Arms of Hadar is... Or, sorry, Hunger of Hadar. Hunger of Hadar is, just like, really, really good. Especially... Especially when we can just, like, sit on the other side of it and blast people back in. If you sacrifice a teammate to Bool, I think you get the permanent boon. Don't remember. I'm pretty sure how that's what it goes. Uh, and then... For our next... Eldritch Invocation, we are, of course, going to go Devil's Sight. This is another point against the potent robe stands, by the way. Uh, you need to devote an Eldritch Invocation to Armor of Shadows if you want to go potent robe. Which means we'd have to give up one of these wonderful Eldritch Invocations. And, uh... Yeah. It's a pretty good level up for us. We also get Deep Impact, uh, so we can cast Animate, Dead, Haste, Call Lightning once per long rest. I guess you could just get scrolls of mage armor, yeah. But <laughs> you would be so much more potent then. Bro. Potent robe stays losing, exactly. We're all potent robe haters here. 
Counterspell is a bit weak on Solo Warlock. You get two spells most of the game. Yeah, I don't think Counterspell is ever the choice here, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably will make the Potent Robe. Uh, there was like a meme that somebody posted of it yesterday in the Discord. I'll probably make that up an emo, at least on the Discord server. Alrighty. Except. Two blasts, two projectiles. You love to see it. We can blast so many things. You love it. So we could just always have like a little guy following us around now. No reason not to. Speaking of little guys, actually. Forgot about shovel. At least consider replacing a spell. I'm pretty content with our spells, honestly. Maybe of armor of Agathas we would pass up, but I'm I'm okay with our spells. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's go take on the rest of the Underdark now. That's next up on our menu. You blast if you want to. You can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't blast, then there are no friends of mine. Exactly. Actually, do we need... Is, I think we might take out Ethel first. Um... Because doing the Grimforce doesn't really matter to us much. Since our game plan is just going to be sit in darkness and blast her. Uh, yeah. Getting the extra like extra good medium armor isn't really going to matter. If we get whole person, we're dead anyways. Let's go. Let's go get Ethel. What about CC spells though? Like CC spells and Band of the Mystic Scoundrel? I don't, I don't think that's really this build. Uh, like, you need to hit with a weapon attack to really get Band of the Mystic Scoundrel working good, and we'd rather be Eldritch Blasting. Is he going to use the Hunger of Hadar RB combo, Repelling Blast? Yeah, you betcha. Why would you need Hold Person if you don't melee? I mean, we can guarantee crits still. Like, we could just move up into melee and crit them, but... You're right, whole person's probably one of the weaker spells. Ring of free action is solo run saver. Ring of free action is pretty tight. Where do you get that again? That's an act two somewhere, right? Where's bingo? It's there. If you go to the... Here, if I still have it on my clipboard, I'll copy-paste it. I, I do not have it on my clipboard. If you go to the Discord and go to our suggestions channel, it's the only pinned message in suggestions. Bloody clever clogs. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You yeah, from Mirage and Moonrise? Yeah, that's, that's a very Let good item. Go. Maybe put it into the stream description. You I can do that. I'll, I'll do that for the next stream. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. But it's also a good excuse to get people going into our Discord. There's a link in the description of that below. Uh, oh, this has nothing to do with me. Goodbye. What happens if we say this? I feel like Gunther would say think he's above this, you know? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Thanks for mentioning the D and D the, or the Discord server. Yeah, I guess that's one for the bingo players. I just joined. Hey, you love to hear it. Thanks, Chai. Oh, there she goes. I'm a bit sad there isn't an option to say I know you're a hag, but I will support you. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. Very much enjoy the videos, sir. Thanks for the content. My pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to activate non-lethal mode. Why am I activating non-lethal mode? We will 
draw on our packs to empower our sight. Non-lethal doesn't work with spells and range damage, which is 100% of the damage here. I also, like, if you're talking about, like, knocking out the sheep, um, I'm pretty sure they patched that. Yeah, they, they removed it. Warlock dialogue option being in based is dumb. Yeah, it's a, it's a little, it's a little wacky. For fighting Marina's brothers? Oh. We don't care about those guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll save the red caps for later. Hopefully they're not too much of a problem for us. I'm a little worried given the lack of uh, potions of healing that we have. But I think between Hunger of Hadar and... Um, and El our new and improved Eldritch Blast. We should be good, especially because we're also hitting better now, too, since our proficiency bonus went up. Warlocks being charisma-based is dumb, in my opinion. I would really... Yeah. I don't know. I don't hate it. I think that if I were to change any spellcaster in their, like, key stat, I, I think I would love to see sorcerers as constitution-based. Two more people until we have 500 in the Discord? That's pretty sick. Who's gonna be the 500? We'll save... I guess I could have reanimated one of Marina's brothers. That would have been pretty funny. Is there any way of killing Ethel and gaining the stat boost of hers? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you have to spare her. We could get another guy. Uh, we should be fine. Did you do the right thing and raid the grove? We we did raid the grove. I mean, we were kind of like asleep for it, but the, the, ro the grove died. Torque um, being con-based would be too OP because it scales your health. I honestly think charisma is a better stat in this game, if I'm being real with you. But I just think it would be an interesting way to differentiate them. And like flavor-wise, I think it makes more sense because it's like literally they get their power like from their, their like bloodline, you know? Of an apology for me, young man. And Constitution is definitely the bloodline stat, yeah. You'll get no apology from me, hag. <laughs> I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna for D and D in general, it'd be super strong. Yeah, I mean, they would definitely have to change some other parts of Sorcerer. Being able to max out Constitution and then like Dexterity would be like really good for a spellcaster. But yeah, I think lore-wise, it just like makes so much sense. Charisma in this game is really, really good, though. You treat all your guests so poorly. That's my Gunter voice. Always keep the husband. It is the moral choice and the meta choice. I don't know about the moral choice, but it's definitely the meta choice. None of your concern. No, but it is yours. And if I were you, I would be very concerned. I Good Gunter voice, thank you. you know, Gunter with two O's, just to clarify though. Because he's a gulak. He's Gunter. I want a strength caster, that would be sick. You're a sharp one. Truant, you will get the anti ethel ring in Act 3 later when you play the Wild Magic Stork run, I hope. I probably will, yeah. Over 500 in the Discord? Hell yeah. Thanks for joining, guys. I really appreciate it. All the support is really cool. 500 people in the Discord is awesome. If you guys uh, want a little event to celebrate, I guess, we're doing a, uh, we're doing a movie night pretty soon, in a couple weeks. Uh, I think it's the first Sunday in April. Let me check. Okay. Yeah, it's April 7th that it's happening, I believe. We're watching uh, Suzume, I think, is the movie that we chose. The new Makoto Shinkai movie. It's going to be a fun time. That's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. 
pampering. We should get a new mod, me, in the Discord. <laughs> you, my door is always open, Petal. And Gunther is a gulag? No, he's a gulag. A goo warlock. A great old one warlock. A gulag. I've I, I've never had her like not be pissed off at me here. I wasn't wasn't really paying attention to the dialogue we were choosing. Hello, sweetness. You going to give me one of those precious peepers? Is, is, is it too late to piss her off now? I just have to like punch her. What happens if I try and go into her basement? Okay, there you go. Now it happens. Weren't you invisible, Shovel? Wait. Wait. Are the red caps coming? Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, no. I was trying to get him out there so he could spot them sooner so they would uh, aggro out there. Okay. I think giving the undead husband to the grieving wife is a bad idea. Like, she's going to obsess over it forever. True, but I also think, like, reanimating him for your own purposes is, is, is not the moral idea. Like, there has to be... The moral idea is probably just to, like, let him lie in his eternal rest, right? Okay, so if we just drop this right here, we're, like, pretty goaded with the sauce, as the kids say, right? That seems pretty good. Nothing will stand in my way. As a miner, I can confirm we do not say that. I I don't know. I don't know, man. Are you not leaving? What wait what? I thought she was guaranteed to leave. That really sucks. When you do a paladin run, what subclass will you choose? Good question. Um, I really like Oath of the Ancients, so I, I might try giving that one a whirl. Goo, goo, goo added with the sauce in this case. So true. I'm hungry like Hadar, so I'm going to grab some dinner. Please refrain from talking in the meantime so I don't miss content. True. I didn't realize Ethel would, like, stick around here. Um, am I fighting her here? Because I, I was not ready to be fighting her here. <laughs> Drop a darkness on ourselves and just, just get blasting. She attacks like twice and leaves. I could have sworn I've always had her leave on like the first round of combat. Go after this guy. Insta crit miss. Okay, now she's gone. What's she doing? Can you body block the door so she can't leave? I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what happens if you stand like right where she teleports to. On my first playthrough, I just killed her here and had no idea she had a basement. Oh, no, the, the emoji's blocking it. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, that was uh, unexpected. You can arcane lock the door. Interesting. That's pretty funny. I mean, I'm assuming she doesn't offer the deal in that case. So, how do we get her, like, not attacking us? Should we just go deal with the red caps first? Alright. What now? What path lies 
Yeah, let's go let's go deal with the red caps first, I think. I mean, fighting them here is like really nice just without Ethel, you know, cuz we can all like we can just lock them through that doorway. Hmm. Take the deal? I don't think the deal is worth it, like, at all. Let's see what this does. Oops. Fireplace isn't real. What's hidden behind it? Where is she? She's up there. Move over here. What happens if we have Shovel go invisible and walk over here? Does it still trigger the fight? No. What happens if we he breaks invisibility and walks over here? Also doesn't trigger the fight. So we need to walk over there. I would re really like to not be over there, though. Is this Eldritch Blast the playthrough? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, what the heck? But now she doesn't care about us going through here. Oh, there you go. Now she does. I guess she had to see us. Uh, okay. Start heading over here. Let's have Shovel go distract Ethel. Surely she won't ignore him if he's just, like, right next to her. Especially with him hitting her. That's gotta add insult to injury. And then we'll drop the Hunger of Hadar... ...right here. Start moving up this way. Yeah, there you go, she's hitting Shovel. How are we already at Ethel? Uh, I changed up the order that I was planning on doing the fight. Or the fights. I realized that doing like the Grimforge and the Crash and stuff wasn't really gonna help us out on Ethel, so we might as well go for Ethel first. Now we can blast away at these guys. We have advantage. We have a 88% chance to hit the Regular guys, 94 on the Blood Sages. It looks like this guy's kind of blood body blocking, so we don't have much of a choice. Yeah, so we'll just blast away at this guy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, <laughs> unlucky about you. I have no idea. We've been going through it with, with this build. Oh man. Oh, uh, good to have you here, though, my dude. Typical Gunther. Yeah, for real. That's. Man, that's that's just awful. Speed potion, speed potion will speed pot if it gets if it gets bad, but they're they're still not getting through it this next turn. Oh, uh, we'll just try and blast these two back. And we got one of them. This is kind of upsetting, guys. I once missed three times on Eldritch Blast with 99% chance to hit. Oh, that's awful. Bouch, I was just watching your video. I was actually watching Bouch's video earlier this morning, too. Really good video, dude. I swear, you get better with each one you make. Oh, he caught up to us. Goodness gracious. Sixty-five percent chance to hit. Ow! How is this happening? How are we missing just so many attacks? 
This is getting redonkulous, boys. Oh my good god, he came he came up the other way. Oh good lord. Um What happens if we go out this way? Rokes an attack of opportunity. Let's just go this way. We'll go here. And then next turn maybe we'll jump down this way, lure them around. Blast this guy. We'll just blast this guy twice, make sure he dies. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Is Gunter secretly Shadow Hearts where they're both hard coded the miss? Yeah, this is insane. Actually insane. Uh we're we're bleeding now, guys. We're bleeding. We could just drop this and then and then Okay, here's the here's the plan. What's our shove chance on this guy? 45 and he doesn't go anywhere. We have 18 strength, my my dude. Okay, there you go. It's just just a weird angle. It was risky business, but we had to give it a whirl. Yeah, let's see what happens. Good lord, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I do not want to die to this guy. <laughs> we can haste, disengage, run away. And then I think we're taking a long rest after this anyways, so... Haste. Disengage. Oh, right, we, we, we were prone, so we're not moving very far. Yeah. We're going this way. Uh, is this some kind of unlucky of the close realms perk? Yeah, it kind of feels like it. Can't do that. Can't cast another concentration spell. Uh, we'll run up here. It's about half of our movement. We'll start blasting the heck out of this dude. I was going to say if we hit one, we'll... Probably won't move too far away, but... Okay, there you go. He's frightened, which means we're, we're good. Thank God. Okay, we gotta be good, right? We gotta be good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> good lord, dude. Good lord. You gotta edit in the video of the guy slamming his keyboard into pieces every time you miss on the run. <laughs> this is me, IRL. What you want and what the game wants doesn't seem to match. Yeah, no kidding. That was too close, man. That was too close. The Cloud of Daggers playthrough, nothing else will hit. Yeah, it feels that way. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted too, Gunter. Me too, man. <laughs> this run is taking it out of me, man. <laughs> Doing awful things to me. Bro got bullied by some sheep. Yeah, we almost died there. That was truly horrendous. I think the uh, the masked people fight just downstairs is going to be another pretty rough one if I'm being real with you. An elixir of bloodlust. Hey, that's something. And I beat Baldur's Gate 3 without hitting anything. Truant pronounced... Ah, there you go. Tenacity the playthrough. Yeah, this is, if this keeps up, I am. I don't know if I'm making it to Act 3, boys. I don't know if my mental capacity has it in me. 
Yeah, let's take a long rest. <clears throat> Lots of buns. Yeah, for Bunny Warren. I don't think Volo's coming back, guys. I think Volo's given up on us. We have this cool little, like, blood throne now. Get the Holy Lance Helm from for the Hag fight. We're planning on, like, not making any saving throws. If we have to make any, we are, we're going to lose anyways. We're just going to sit in darkness. She just kind of breaks when you sit in darkness. How does becoming an elephant work? Do I keep all my abilities and stats? You do, yeah. It's just nothing but buffs. You just get all the enhanced... Uh, Illithid powers. Still no Volo. Doing the daily Volo check. Scratch, come here. Come here, buddy. How did you anger Volo? I missed it. I don't know. We just went to the camp and he just stopped being there. Do a little sleight of hand. Easy peasy. Is now a good time to tell you that you are actively weaker because you didn't choose Will as the main character? Oh, I'm well aware. Yeah. But that's also one of the reasons why I don't do origin characters. I don't want the extra bonuses from them. On the bright side, I think all those misses can make a cool narrative for a vid. Gunter doubting his devotion to his patron, but persevering and getting rewarded. True. Yeah, we can we can bring it into the narrative. The Holy Lance Helm does one to four damage radiant to, to anybody who misses you. Oh, sorry, I got it mixed up with the. Uh, I don't know why. I thought it was like if we succeed a saving throw, the enemies take damage. We'll throw Scratch's ball. Go get it, boy. I'm well aware. Oh, you're so right. Either way, uh, Ethel isn't really going to be making attacks on us. Thanks, Scratch. Okay. You need tenacity on your Eldritch Blast. That would be sick. I would love that. Okay, let's go fight some folks. Her clones do? I mean, last time, her clones just kind of, like, watched me stand in the darkness. If they do try and swing at us, then that's going to be quite the bummer, and I might go back and get it. But last time I did it, they just kind of sat there. Personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Do you have deal two acid damage per hit ring? No, because that only applies to weapons. Or what? Oh, the cocky ones are my favorite to chew on. Keep going, pickle. And you'll find out. How is Will boosted compared to Tav Warlock? Well, I know at the very least, uh, he gets the extra summon, and I know he gets... I'm pretty sure he gets, like, a better robe, too, huh? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do real quick, though? We're not gonna summon Scratch, because we're, we're not gonna bring him into combat. We're not a monster. Uh, but we are going to... Mm, yeah, we'll get a corpse. We'll bring a corpse down with us. All right, buddy. Come with me. Skeleton or zombie? I'm more of a zombie kind of guy. All right. And we'll get shovel. I was thinking the extra summon will get an act too. Three level six spell summon per long rest is insane. It is pretty nutty, yeah. Get me Rena's brothers. That would be pretty funny. Where's the door? Where's the door? If you had to choose, what kind of undead would I want to be? A vampire. Easy. Next question. <laughs> I honestly think there's a pretty good chance that I would choose to be a vampire, even if I didn't have to be turned into an undead. Can't let people through. Not again. 
Oh, time to chat. Here to kill the hag. Equip the mask. What does the mask do? Doesn't it like give her power over you? I always choose skeleton because the zombie walking noises drive me insane. That's very fair. I love the Jin summon, but its status effect sound is the worst. Can't say I've heard it. Leave. Wonder how the conversation goes if you walk into Ethel's house with Mayrina's brothers as zombies. That would be yeah, that would be pretty funny. Okay. Um. Do a little quick save. We'll have, we'll have Gunter hide, and then Shovel can go out there and get a surprise round on one of these bozos. Uh, man, the Mask of Servitude is the one that heals, right? Why you gotta be so far back here? That's just plain rude. What? What? Why did you become visible? Oh, because you got wet. Because <laughs> you got wet. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, Shovel, retreat! Retreat! All right, Gunter, get in there. Um, I wonder how close we can get to these guys. I think we could get, like, like right in there, huh? We could just walk right up to this lady. Wait, 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 wait. You need to, you need to be... Can you stealth? No, you can't. Okay, you chill there for a second. Please dash, wear the mask, and turn-based mode, enter the dungeon, unwear. Sounds like a lot of steps when we could just kill these guys. I think I'm just going to start by casting darkness and then and then blast away. I mean, we do, yeah. We'll just cast darkness on ourselves. Um, stay up here from our little vantage point and then, then blast away. Great. Get the zombie in the fight. And Shovel's turn. Protection from evil and good also makes you immune to her control while wearing the mask. That's good to know. I mean, I'm not really stressing about the Ethel fight. Maybe I should be, but I mean, I'm pretty confident in Darkness just kind of like soloing the fight. Juicy hit. Yeah, we're hoping for more of those juicy ones. Please don't find Shovel. Alright, zombie. Just start, like, punching the heck out of this guy. I forgot they had the... the I forgot this was the one who attacks you back. Beat him up, Shovel. Yeah, get them good. But it lets you see the traps on the way to Ethel's area below. The mask does. I usually just jump over the traps. I'm going to be real with you. You really got to be standing like right there. Oh, there's a spot. Yeah. Surely we hit with an 85% chance, right? Surely that happens. And then we'll go for the Mask of Regret. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We got the bonus action attack. This this does it. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, yeah, another crit. You're so right.
My friend just rage quitted the stream after getting slain from the spider matriarch. One solo honor is dead in the world. Oh no, I'm sorry for your friend's loss. Alright, you're not doing anything this turn, apparently. Come on, Shovel, get him. Finish him off. Sho Shovel's the only one that can do anything around here. He's just watching, or she's just watching her master get absolutely destroyed. And she's like, oh god, I gotta do it all myself again. The way things are going, I bet you would miss with a 100% chance. Hey, <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> There you go, that's a crit hit. You love to see it. Why? Interesting. Maybe it's all those black cats you threw off a cliff? They weren't black cats. I would never throw off a black cat off a cliff. It would make me too sad. It would remind me of my little baby cat. Okay, surely we get that person on our next turn, so you can go up here. Was the family curse from Onsur just real bad luck? Pretty much, yeah. Heal dwarfs have an attack penalty? It kind of feels like it, yeah. Okay. We get you with one blast 100% of the time, every time, and then we'll blast you that way. Hey, two twelves. Always funny to me when a crit hits for like the same amount of damage as just a regular hit. Is there a way to check how long a cloud has been around or like a spell has been around for? Why did you not go with the one that gives you temp HP after uh, kills? You're right that it probably is the better warlock um, in general. I just. I really want to go all in on the crit fishing build and this uh, this subclass. Why are you not going up here? This subclass makes it so that when you crit an enemy, they have a chance to be frightened. And so the more stuff that our crits do, the, the better. You know what? I bet you Shovel can solo that person. We're going after this one. Almost got him. 1 HP. No. I won't hurt them. In Baldur's Gate 3, we have the aliens invading, so it is kind of XCOM. You're right, it, it is a little XCOM-y. Alright, Shovel, finish him off. Shovel's gotta do everything herself. So much for peace. We're actually hitting now, though, guys. Like, I know it's, it's like just been like two rounds in a row, but it's happening. It's happening. Better not hit Shovel. No! You bastard! We're getting crit hits more regularly. This is about the views, not the meta. I honestly think more people would like it if I went with meta builds. At least judging from all of the, uh, the comments that I get being like, why didn't you do this play instead of that play? The answer is almost always just because I felt like it or I didn't think about it. There is a good amount of times when the back seating is like genuinely helpful, but uh, a lot of the time it's just people being like, you should have played in my preferred way. And it's like, but then I wouldn't be playing my preferred way. <laughs> Have I missed something? I just came back and suddenly you hit with your attacks? Yeah, it turns out having advantage is, like, pretty nice. Backseat just rage watch your videos, good for engagement. Un unironically, it, like, actually is good for engagement. Like, they, um... When they spam comments, when they're like, You're playing it wrong, because you're not playing it how I like to play. Like, that, those comments do bump up the al video in the algorithm. <laughs> I wasn't trying to backseat you? Oh, no, no, I, I know you weren't. I know 100% you weren't. I didn't interpret that as a backseating comment. Uh, I just mean in, in general that there are some people like that. I was just kind of uh, going off into an anecdote. Which What level are you? We're level 5. Why don't you play with only your feet? Uh, you're... <laughs> well, these feet fans are the craziest ones, too. 
Okay, let's go scroll up Featherfall, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little a little hopping, a little hipping. Hey, asking for a friend, did I get an invisibility potion? I have a scroll of invisibility, that's good enough. The secret to YouTube is to mispronounce Asterion's name for engagement. I did that in my last video. Um, only once, though. I thought you had to mispronounce Kaga. True, we can do that. Remember, it's not a misplay, it's a deliberate decision designed to drive engagement exactly. Uh, okay, so we're going to take a, a wee short rest. We're gonna jump over here, so we're past this cloud. We're going to do a quick save before any prep. We're gonna take a look at our elixirs. I don't think there's any that are like really gonna help us for this fight. Not really, no. Um, I mean, we might as well take an elixir of vigilance so we can go like a little sooner, but people get big mad when you kill Minthara. They do, yeah. Eh, we just won't rock, rock any elixirs, at least on this first attempt. Hey, Truant, what does that weapon in your offhand do? Uh, this is the Knife of the Undermountain King. Reduces the number we need to roll a crit hit by one. And when we roll two damage or less, we get a reroll to die, taking the highest result. Apparently, that second part only applies to melee hits, but still, the reduced crit range is what we're going for. It is crazy, but so many typos or mispronounced names are literally just engagement farming. I wonder how true that is. Anyways, yeah, we'll summon Shovel. Have him go invisible. We'll go ahead and drop an invisibility on ourselves. I don't remember if I quick saved. I'm pretty sure I did. We're just going to do it again. Invisibility. How low can you get the crit range? I think we're going to... I was I was doing the math the other day, and then I just instantly forgot it. But I think we're going to get it down to like a 15 or 14 or something stupid like that. Okay. In the cage. Oh shit, I just realized we can't see... We can't see Ethel. Good lord. Because the Volo just abandoned us. Oh, can you not use the control orb shovel? Interesting. Uh, so we might need to reset and do like a scroll of sea invisibility i don't know what's going to happen uh enter turn base mode drop a darkness i guess we i think we'd rather drop a darkness like somewhere a little bit more central though in case she spawns like up here we'll move over here and drop a darkness on ourselves okay that triggered things that's fine And then we'll just start shooting. That's okay. Oh. The, she's just clawing at us? A little unexpected, I must admit. Two crit hits. Two and one, boys. And she's scared. You know what? Let's let's get Shovel in on here. Right, no, let's save Shovel for if we need to kill any illusory copies. High ground does not give advantage. No, it gives us just a flat plus to hit. Um, it, it might have been more worth it to go up here. I was expecting her to split off and I was worried she would split over here and then we would be out of range for Eldritch Blast, uh, which is why I did it here. But yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. This build is working flawlessly. Things are Good things are happening. Um, except for some reason, we no longer have advantage to hit. 
I was told that this is like pretty consistent. Like there's a stat that you get when you're standing inside of darkness or like not a stat, but like a Breathe deep and move. a condition. Hoping that moving in and out would help. Now I'm kind of scared that we're going to get hit. I thought we we're going to be able to move for further in. Um, hmm. Well, this is a little frightening. Ah, just to be safe, we'll, we'll dash back in. I, I know it's not the optimal thing to do, but... I've never seen Ethel fight like this before. I don't know, is it because we went into the darkness before she split off? Another couple crits. What the hell is happening? <laughs> how- okay, yeah, sorry. I, I know I asked this earlier. Is there a way to check how long your spell's been active for? This is 10 turns on this. Can toggle the push effect in passives? I mean, I kind of want to push her away. Ideally, we push her away and frighten her, and then she can't hit us. That was a big damage hit. I kind of want a potion of speed, honestly. How many do we have? We have one. It's risky, but we could probably get it done. What happens if our potion of speed runs out when we're in the dialogue with her? Does something horrible happen? Ah, eh, screw it. Let's just go for it. Why is she dashing? What is happening, dude? What, what is going on in this fight? Maybe, okay, at that time I should have turned it off. Uh, because that time she was still in the cloud. Yeah, that was, that was a misplay. But it doesn't really matter. She's under 30 HP. I'll have Shovel get in on the action. Just, just to say Shovel did something. Alright, well that's Ethel down. Killing me is a waste of time. On solo for some reason it doesn't show the spell duration like it does with multiple party members. Yeah, more proof that Larian hates solo players. But what is she cooking? Who knows, dude? So how about we be civilized about this? Blinding bosses seems to really mess with their AI. I did this to Merkel last night and you only skip turns. I've also seen that happen to Raphael. Interesting. I mean, I know that like I know that it's supposed to make Ethel a little wonky, because she just, um... I mean, at least in my past experience, she's always just kind of passed her turn, because she hasn't wanted to go in with her claws, and she did, couldn't cast whole person, but yeah. We'll do a little quick save here, now that the fight's done. You wound me, sweet. Gunther's curse is spreading my to the game, yeah. Pact of yours to shame. You can watch how long the fight lasts, what round of the fight, and just do calc. Yeah, we, we can. I just would really like to see, like, a in-game timer for our spells. Please show the battle logs. Why does she always pass the saving throws from Frightened? How much bonus does she have? I can show you afterwards. I'm pretty sure she has, like, a really high boost to... Because I'm pretty sure it's a wisdom save. Uh, but yeah. You know what? We're going to go for the intimidation just because, like... We like intimidating people, but if it doesn't go through, it doesn't go through, you know? That's life. We don't get a cast Guidance for some reason. And it mattered. Not a hope. It's one are, the, are there any mods the you've other. ever considered using? Oh, there's a ton, yeah. Uh, I just think it would be... Like, I really enjoy the vanilla playthrough, and I kind of want to do like a heavily modded playthrough for one of the special runs that we do. Keep the girl, I'll take the power. Choice. Here. 31% of the Ethel fights were crits. That's what I'm talking about. 
No guidance because of lethargic? Uh, Maybe. What about me? Deals on, girl. And you're not leaving my You are just not inspired. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really know how to get inspiration as a noble. I'm going to be real with you. Get out of here before I change my mind. Is your gold weight I like because it stops having to keep sending the camp for weight saving and picking it up when shopping? Uh, honestly, I would love to just have the like the no encumbrance mod or like the infinite weight carry mod uh, is the, probably the first one I would install. Plus one bonus to charisma. This is going to bump us up to 18. Here we go. Where's her flesh? Man, Cult of the Lamb music goes so hard. Consume. Now we're even more likely to hit. We deal more damage still. That's always a good time. Tab's Hair Salon is a great mod. I can see why people would like that. It's just, I've never been the type of person to like really care what their characters look like in games. What is the lore? I missed the character creation. So this is Gunter Gumli the uh, Third. He is the son of a noble line of dwarves. Uh, unfortunately, they were uh, their bloodline was cursed, and to try and get his way to more power and get out of the curse, uh, he made a pact, or he he searched for ways to gain power through otherworldly connections. He was able to be contacted by a creature that visited his dreams, a dream visitor, if you will. And um, that dream visitor offered him power in exchange for servitude, and he was happy to oblige us. He saw the magnificent beauty of this dream visitor. The dream visitor asked him to go investigate the cult of the absolute because they were kind of squanching on his territory. And uh, along the way, we got picked up and had a tadpole forcibly implanted in our mind by these evil cultists. And now we, wanna, we want it out because the only power allowed in our mind is our patrons. Clearly. <laughs> I'm assuming that was in response to the curse. Hey, Igor. Love it. I can't wait for the vid. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I can't wait for the vid too. Okay. Well, that was maybe like the easiest Ethel fight of all time. I don't know why she did nothing. Uh, I think blinding her to start the fight like really broke her. What potions in here are actually good? I haven't the faintest idea. I'm sure. I'm sure folks in chat know. They know everything. The little hive mind. Let's go to the Underdark now. I'm okay not killing the Dwergar. We don't really have much of a reason to kill the Dwergar. We'll just try and get our, our way past them with dialogue. Um, I don't like starting the fight on the ground, though, so we'll, we'll, we'll walk to them from above. Mother's Loathing gives a bite attack until long rest that's so real honestly <laughs> mother's loathing does give a bite attack until long rest melth just did a great video on all the potions in the head glare. hey go check out melth's video then how many streams does act one usually take you usually two a couple of like usually around like 13 hours is how long it takes uh we had a seven hour stream yesterday. We're about two and a half hours into this one. We really just need to do the Grimforge stuff. And then after this, we need to, we're going to take out the crash. I want to get the uh, gloves of belligerent sky. I think is what they're called. Oh, I didn't have the boots of stormy clamor on for that fight. Oh, well, we clearly didn't need it. Uh, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing any reverberation. I kind of want to get the gloves of belligerent sky. We're going to like temp use them. Because we're going to get uh, the Belmite Gloves in Act 3, but I think it'll be fun for a little while. Because when we proc Reverberation, hopefully it'll proc... Like, we're not dealing a lot of Lightning and Thunder damage without Reverberation, but as long as Reverberation counts as us dealing Thunder damage, 
Hopefully the Gloves of Belligerent Sky will work. I don't know if it does, but we'll test it. If not, uh, we might also buy the Daredevil Gloves from Ajaxne Zero beforehand. Perception failed. You don't say. I mean, we can see them. They're there. Okay, I feel like I've quick saved like a million times already, so we should be good if we just like walk in. Mm, shovel, why don't why don't you why don't you go invisible real quick, just in case we need you as backup. Howdy, folks. You wanna chat? What? Dick! Got someone sneaking up on us. Too loud, sun scum. Act 1 feels so long because you're so underpowered and things give so little XP. Yeah, it, the Act 1 is always the roughest part of any run. What do you prefer, AC or more damage? Assume it's solo honor. AC, always. We were actually talking about this quite a bit last stream. I just, uh, the last build that we did uh, for the Lone Wolf Illithid only run really helped me realize just how much I prefer surviving as opposed to dealing damage. I can be discreet. No need for bloodshed. Fine. I'll let you live. <clears throat> but spoil my hunt, and you're dead. What are you doing here? Hawk your way out of this and steal all the corpses? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. My sorcerer build, reverberation procs when people step on water I've electrocuted, so belligerent skies should work. Fingers crossed. Mm. Your problems are your own. I'm leaving. Oh my god, I think I did this exact same thing last time, where I'm like, I don't think my character would want to get involved with this. At least his luck isn't great. It's fine, we're fine. I need to remember that that pisses them off. It's always so hard to tell what dialogue options are gonna aggravate the enemies. It's like, we already convinced them to not attack us, and then they're like, JK, we're gonna blow you to bits. Okay. Uh, we're not going to go for Darkness immediately, or Hunger of Adar, or anything. Um, just because we're burning. I don't want to lose concentration to that. But we will just try and kill this guy. That is so rude of you. That is honestly insanely rude of you. Um, I also need to remember you can do that. Which means we're going to... I don't hate Misty stepping away and just, like, running up the cliffs, honestly. Or running this way, and then we can try and, uh... There's not a lot of cliffs for us to shove them off. We could, yeah, we could go up this way. Yeah, we'll just go up this way. Does Shovel have spells? I don't think he does. At least he didn't counter for one of your level spells. Oh yeah, there's definitely worse things for him to counter. Just go up this way. And... We'll have Shovel hold off until one of them is uh, concentrating on a spell that isn't behind a wall of fire or a patch of fire. I don't want to go too far. Here seems good enough. Doesn't counter spell require a line of sight? Uh, yeah, it's, it's always finick finicky about it. Are you winning, Truant? It's a mixed bag today. Um, we eradicated Ethel without like much of a contest, but we almost died to the cats in the Rosemary Monastery. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been a little wonky. You know, if a lot of them get grouped up here, I might just uh, drop a Hunger of Hadar. Where are you, Gek Cole? You d d didn't move. I don't hate a Hunger of Hadar right here. It's also, like, not really doing anything for us, though. This guy didn't move either, huh? 
really would have loved to blast you. Because I don't like that guy very much. We'll just... We don't need to overcomplicate things. But we can't see any of them. <laughs> uh, what if we go here? Nope, nope, nope. Dang, this rock's really in the way, huh? Maybe we will drop a hunger over there. We could also call lightning. I don't hate that. We're not really going to be using this in other fights. We'll do this, and then we'll use Hunger of Adar maybe for the for the bigger guys. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we can hit... Oh, we can hit these three. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah. Why not? Oh, wait. Can I hit all four of them? Doesn't look like it. I can hit these three, though. We'll go for these three. Why not? It wasn't actually as much damage as I was hoping for, but whatever. I could have had Shovel try and hit that guy. I've been counterspelled by NPCs in spite of both walls and floors separating us. This game will force counterspell to work on you as if done so by the most spiteful GM. Yeah. Yo, it's me from yesterday. Hey, Chad. How's it going? Any interesting hijinks and or shenanigans lately? I mean, the Ethel fight was pretty shenaniganry. Uh, we just casted Darkness on her, and then she, like, never spawned any clones, and she also, like, never really hit us, and then she also just kind of died. I'm okay with just doing this, honestly. Are we rolling bad on these damage rolls? Yeah, average is 16. If they fail. Okay. So it should be better. So I'm, I'm okay with continuing to cast that. Especially when they're all grouped up. Go up here. Maybe now we hunger of Hadar. Like next turn. How did you manage to get Call Lightning on a Warlock? Pack to the Tome gets it. You can cast it once per long rest. Doesn't use a spell slot or anything. Rare Ethel easy fight? It was really easy. Yeah, she just kind of died. I know Eldritch Blast is better, but you should insult someone to death. I should do that, huh? Missed out on Ethel shenanigans? Yeah, it was very, very weird Ethel shenanigans. I think I'm okay with the Hunger of Hadar at this point. Like they're just coming up here. If they start to like go all the way around, like back down and then up here, that's totally okay. Especially because we could probably blast them from up here. Maybe, I don't know. These railings look pretty thick. But we'll drop a Hunger of Hadar. Right here. How's Shovel doing? Anybody you want to hit Shovel? Not, not yet. Stay with the pack. Who should we blast? You. Nice. I thought they made it so you can't ping invisible people anymore. They kind of did. They tried. Uh, but if you key bind the ping button to like a different key than the default, then you can still do it. You just hover over their portrait and then press the new key bind. Is that Don't Save the Princess music I hear in the back? Should still be Call to the Lamb. Yes, it is still Call to the Lamb. Weird, good to know, yeah. We got plenty of tips and tricks for you. Bless this guy and this guy. They seem to be the closest. That feels nice. This guy's frightened, so we don't really have to worry about him. Shoot that guy. Back up a wee bit. I didn't know Pact with the Tome did that, thanks. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, damn. They, they, like, really sped up when they got out of there, huh? Oh, he's going in. <laughs> he's moaning about it. 
Isn't he supposed to take damage when he enters the Hunger of Adar? Is that only if he starts his turn in there? Probably only if he starts his turn in there. Uh, the odds of this guy hitting us are like pretty low. Uh, and I would much rather blast this guy to like keep him back. Yeah. We will blast this guy once to blast him back and then shoot this guy. He did not get frightened, that's okay. Were those guaranteed crits? They were not. Uh, that's crazy if you just crit on both. You haven't seen nothing yet. Wait till we get to Act 3. Why, why did you do that? That was so mean. He just shot at his buddy. Oh my god. You want to know what he just did? He shot an arrow of Roaring Thunder to try and knock him out of it so that he wouldn't take the damage from Hunger of Hadar at the start of his turn. That's, that's exactly what just happened. That had to have been what just happened. Uh, I think we'll... Yikes. That was a little scary. Wow. And we still have to be, like, right next to this guy anyways. That's kind of a bummer. Would like to kill you. That is quite the bummer. Okay, I think this is where we get shovel in. Because we need shovel to go the long way around. Hold up, give me a moment, guys. Pact of the Tome is surprisingly the best Warlock subclass for a caster build. It looks so bad at first, but the level 5 is great. Yeah, the level 5 really makes up for it. Why is the Quasit so far back? Yeah, just because we weren't doing anything with him. I was saving him for a good moment. And I think him taking out this corpse is a good moment. Thanks, Shovel. Sometimes the only way out is through. That's what these guys are thinking. They're like, if we just make it to the end of this massive, horrible AoE spell, surely we'll be okay. These zombies are starting to stress me out, man. Yeah, we're gonna have Shovel provoke the attack of opportunity. And then that way we can move out on our turn. Fuck. What the hell? He shot through it. I thought it was like a darkness cloud, but I guess it's not. That really sucks. <laughs> Just got like one shot. Damn, dude. Damn. The real protagonist comes into combat. Yeah, that guy over there. That's okay. It happens. GG, yeah, there's no, nothing you can do about that one. I mean, we probably could have moved back like a little further on our turn, like around the hump. Uh, I kind of want to kill these guys now. I'm going to be real with you. I, I I think I'm okay just starting the fight. I don't think my character would do it without the dialogue first, like without them turning on him, because we have no reason to like really kill these guys. So we'll still do the dialogue, and then we'll... Uh, Pretty much just do what we just did, honestly. What's the moral alignment of this run? We're evil, but we're trying to be like a, a noble evil, you know? Like, I mean, our character is noble uh, for the background. So we're trying to be like a little as wormy than Michelle was. Should I cast Armor of Agathis? Probably not, honestly. Like, getting another Hunger of Adar when that first one runs out is probably more worth it. Another thing we could do is we could also start by casting haste. What? Get? Got someone sneaking? I guess I don't need to go through the dialogue like every time. We could just do the attack. I'll just use the footage from the first conversation. There's a chance that this guy like insta shots us. I mean, we got pretty lucky the first time because he crit miss us, but uh. We also rolled, like, really poor on initiative here, which isn't phenomenal. Lawful evil? Yeah, we're lawful evil. Did you get dark side as one of your Eldritch Invocations? We did, yeah. So, we can try and push this guy again. 
Uh, I think the play instead is maybe just go for haste. Like, we go haste, push this guy off, use a bonus action to heal. I don't hate that idea. Problem is, I don't know if he's going to counterspell us. Like, we are not visible by him, but I don't think that's going to stop him. So I think we run back first and then cast haste. Use a potion to make sure we don't bleed out and also get rid of the fire. And then try and shove this guy off the edge. Wow, what? He still got us? Why didn't you counterspell the haste, brother? What the heck? I thought we were for sure out of his reach. Okay. Hopefully this guy has to dash to be able to hit us. If he can shoot us from where he is, we might be a little screwed. Like an angel that fought devils for so long that their ichor has infected you? This is the lore of demons. Please, please, please. Okay, we're good. Maybe they prioritize damaging spells when it comes to counterspell? Yeah, maybe. I mean, if he wants to waste his counterspells on Eldritch Blast, that's, that's his problem. Excuse me? Come on, Gunther. You can hit this guy. You can do it, buddy. Okay. Can we hit anybody? <laughs> okay, we can go for this guy. Can we go for this guy? Oh, we can. I would much rather kill this guy. I think the plan here, we turn off Repelling Blast for the first blast, fire on this guy twice, and then we turn on Repelling Blast and fire at him again. That's pretty nice. Maybe I should have shot him with this too. Can we shoot him without moving forward? Not really. Uh, we'll just shoot the silence guy. It's another critical. That counts. Add it to the critical counter. Okay, there we go. This is, that is literally the story of the lady that took Karlak's heart. She was an angel that fought devils for so long. That's Zeriel, right? Hey. What? Isn't that supposed to blow up on you? Isn't that a, a glyph? I thought that blew up on... Oh, no. It blows up and hits everybody if an enemy stands on it. That's what I was thinking of. I'm just used to this guy casting it, like, directly on me and him. Which is why I was thinking that. How are you doing reverberation? It's with the boots of Stormy Clamor. Knocking them back counts as applying a condition to them. Okay, so now we just, like, start blasting the horde, I think. I don't know if this is going to be any better than just using a Hunger of Hadar, but... I think that guy should die to the reverberation. He did. Okay. A couple of them are frightened. That's good. Uh, I guess we'll shoot this guy. Excellent. Keep moving up here. Hopefully nobody falls off of initiative. They're like really far away. They might fall off of initiative soon. <clears throat> If you become what you fight, I'll start to fight beautiful and rich people. Eat the rich! Eat the rich! I'm back. How did death? will go really, really well. Yeah. But the decided spells were lame. Pretty much. Oh. Oh. What if I move Ethel onto the circle? No, oh, I was going to say, with that guy on it, but he moved off of it. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Just used a uh, shovel. Sorry, did I say Ethel? Should you just use shovel like a suicide bomber? Yeah, we'll, we'll start blasting them two at a time. 
Keep him at bay. Yeah, you love to see. I should really get into the habit of doing this first, too. The offhand shot. I think I'm gonna get Shovel to join the fight just so they don't fall off of initiative. I'm, I'm gonna, or like these guys don't fall off of initiative. It'll slow them down for a moment, too. I was in my kitchen, but came rushing back hearing eat the rich hell yeah exactly oh man shovel's really distracting them huh don't worry shovel you got this oh no not the crit miss not the double crit miss shovel's a crit fisher too oh my god shovel <laughs> You should get into the habit of hitting them and critting them. Yeah, you're so right. His hands did not have this, yeah. He did not. Shovel, no. I'm sorry. I thought that would go better. Well, I mean, I thought you were gonna die, but I didn't think you'd die so, so like, excruciatingly. <laughs> okay, well, shoot this guy. And then, I don't want to shove you out of my Eldritch Blast range, so I'll just turn that off for now. Turn it back on. Okay, I thought shoving him is what applied the reverberation. But something else is applying the reverberation. Because he just took reverberation stacks when we didn't shove him. Either way, he's frightened now. Hey, I just I was just about to say, where did those guys, the other invisible guys go? Uh-oh, that's scary. I was not paying attention. Reverb procs due to the Frightened state, but it's applying on every Eldritch Blast, not just the ones that frighten. This guy being frightened on our lethargic turn is, is really nice for us. This game has always seemed pretty inscrutable to me on what counts as applying a condition. Yeah, I think we're dead here, by the way. Like, all these guys get two rounds, especially if this guy just, uh, takes forever. That was definitely a misplay, not keeping track of, uh, what these guys were up to. This is this is where Shovel would come in handy as a distraction. I think it really depends what this guy does. Yeah, God, that guy does not miss, dude. He doesn't miss. Oh, this is so upsetting. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get him. I think uh, Hunger of Adar is the better play, though. I'm going to be real with you. It's not a misplay. It's for engagement. You're so right. You're so right. The second I hit that end turn button, too, I realized, like, goddamn, like, I haven't checked in on the invisible guys for a minute. Okay. Okay. Shovel, go invisible. Still alive, but... I'm gonna use an elixir of bloodlust. That's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna make this better. What? Okay, here we go, guys. Round three. We got this. The enemy's surprised. I guess because we didn't give them a conversation first. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I don't really want that to happen. Well, whatever. We'll we'll roll with it. Offhand attack first. Yeah, why not? Steal the corpses. We can steal the corpses, but um, I don't know. I just I just feel like you know the character would have the conversation with them first, and then we'd attack after you know they decide to be annoying about it. I I can't really justify the character stealing corpses for like no reason. Uh, we'll blast this guy a couple times. Hopefully, send him off the edge. We did not send him off the edge. Uh, then we'll start moving back.
try. What an insane counter spell, dude. What is the range on that thing? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll start going up here and just drop a Hunger of Adar, hopefully once they start grouping up. Just the big Asian noble background, rich people are insane, you're so right. We could also just drop a Darkness and hide in it. It's another play we can do. I would recommend swapping Reaver Boots out for speed for now. Being able to stay out of melee with the zombies is probably stronger than Reaver for now. You're probably right. We might do that on our next attempt. I think I've seen a movie about the, the Warlock ones, Little Miss Sunshine. Oh, brutal, dude, brutal. I actually watched that movie for the first time uh, like a, a couple weeks ago. I, I really, really enjoyed that movie. Uh, you know what? This seems like a good hunger of a dar spot, if I'm being real with you. Let's make sure Shovel's out of the way. Time to push my luck again. Problem is, Get Cole might counterspell it. I don't know, the guy's like, he's a monster. Can we can we get shovel in initiative like right here? He's right after us. Right after us. I was hoping we could use him to. Um... Surely he's out of counter spell range, right? Surely. Beat counter spell with hex. I mean, he's gotta be out of counter spell range. I'm just going to assume he's out of the range. Like, it's it's a range of 60 feet. We are far more than 60 feet away. Like, even just in a straight line, 60 feet's, like, down here somewhere. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. We're going to drop a... I don't really care about... I kind of like having this guy, like, right in the middle. Make this guy's life miserable. Because this guy makes my life miserable. We'll do it right here. Yeah, it worked. Coolio. Coolio. We can kill that guy, too. That would make me really happy, but... Um... Maybe I should have done it right here. No, I think I should have done it right here and then moved back. Yeah, I think that was a misplay. We'll see. Void Bulb Shenanigans? You're so right, actually. We'll do Void Bulb Shenanigans next turn. Pull them all back in. Throw one shovel. No. Hey, aren't you tired of the Lone Wolf runs yet? Don't get me wrong, I love them, but I get burnt out so quickly. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying them. I'm having a really good time with them. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Thank God. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some void bulb shenanigans. See how this goes. Hopefully that grabs them all. It did indeed. They are blinded. This guy sucks butts, but we'll shoot him again. It would make me really happy if we could get a frighten on our offhand attack. If I'm being real with you. Hopefully this guy dies. He keeps making the saving throws, which has me a little unhappy. Shovel's in a bit of a pickle. But, you know, he's 1v3'd before. I have to go to sleep soon since it's almost midnight where I live. No worries, you take care of yourself. Football back into the hunger zone is so rude. It is pretty rude. Please don't, please don't guiding bolt me. Oh, that's pretty rude. Speaking of rude things. No way he just blindness shovel. Let shovel cook. Hmm. I don't like when they make it out of the hunger zone. Oh my god, they killed shovel. They they off screen killed him. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. It surely 
No, I was gonna say surely this guy dies, but he got that big old aid on him. Can we throw another one, like, way over here? We sure can. We're not, like, too afraid of the zombies. <laughs> what a- what a- what a throw, goddamn. Somebody signed this up- man up in the NFL. Good lord. That's rude. Okay, maybe we should be afraid of the zombies. Good lord, dude. What kind of saves are they making, man? Okay, they're pretty good at it. They have a plus four. Why is our hunger of Hadar DC 12? That's... That's not right. So the DC is 8, plus our proficiency modifier, which is 11, plus 4, which is our charisma modifier. Why are... What? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Ah... <laughs> uh... Okay, let's just try and shove this guy back. And then blast these two back. And then, oh, that triggered our Bloodless Elixir. And then blast these guys back some more. They are pretty far away from us now. Okay, we finally got the Archer. I know at one point surfaces had a fixed DC separate from your spell DC, but I thought that was fixed. What is happening? The hunger of Adar is not just is just straight up not showing up now. Okay, this is very upsetting. Whatever's happening here uh, with our hunger of Adar is that for all of our spells? Like, I didn't multi-class or anything. We're, we're just a warlock. Did taking Pact of the Tome break something? Is it treating it us like a wizard now? Is there a way to check our spell attack bonuses? Or, like, spell save DC? Why are they throwing down glyphs? Who knows, man. Is anybody invisible? I'm gonna keep better track of these guys. Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep blasting away. Okay, there's no way we need to waste two no two more beams on just this guy. He counterspelled us? from. It didn't even do the animation, he's so far away. He's there. That is not within 60 feet, game. <laughs> By checking the details of your other spells... Yeah, let's take a look. It says our spell save DC is 11 on that spell? 14 on this one? <laughs> what? Our spell save DC is supposed to be 15. It's just all over the place. Why? What? Our haste saving throw is 15? All of our spells have, like, different spell saves. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use a healing potion just to make sure we don't die. Uh, what the fuck is happening, dude? It's the curse! Um, What are our hits doing? Our hits are using charisma, and they're using the right math. What the hell, man? This is like the most bugged playthrough I've ever had. Hover over the number? Okay, I'll do that on our next turn. What is the best patron to choose? Uh, probably the uh, fiend. I am gonna blast this guy to trigger our bloodlust.
For the same reason, I think I'm going to leave that guy alive for next turn. Man. Okay, let's take a look. Charisma save. Spell save DC 15. 4 from Charisma. You were different, though. You were 14. 3 from Dexterity. 3 from Proficiency. Is that because it's a dex save? It's using our dex modifier to calculate the saving throw? What? But that says 14, and it's actually 12. What? But it's still wrong, even like even if it is using our dex modifier, which is like weird as hell. It would still a DC 12 for I'm so confused. Make it make sense. I <laughs> you've ever had so far. You're so right, bunny. It's only going to get worse from here. Uh, I mean... Do they get the circlet of intelligence, I guess? And the gloves of de dexterity? Yeah, I, I guess so. No! I, I pressed one! I swear I pressed one! Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, man. My brain is melting. What is happening? I think we're going to drop another Hunger of Adar here, by the way. They're getting nice and grouped up again. I hate the auto-duel wielding so much. Yeah, I need to remember to turn it off. We'll, uh, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna provoke this attack of opportunity. And we're gonna do a bit of Eldritch Blasting. This motherfucker. I hate this guy. Uh, then we'll shoot this guy. And then we'll cast Hunger of Hadar here. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. Uh, and then we'll... Start moving up this way, I guess. <sighs> you might have something else that increases deck saves, man. Blinded me. I don't understand what you mean, but I, but I might have something else that increases deck saves. Like, our spell save DCs are calculated solely off of charisma. That's how spellcasters work. We can, we can get right in there and start blasting away. I, I think we're better off just, just moving up the hill, though. All the way back to the Myconid colony yet again. Just joined, have I missed anything major? Man, this is a weird fight to join into. There's a lot of strangeness happening. Happening. Oh, a lot of dead dudes. We are still blind. Uh, so I guess we'll just keep walking up this way until we like stop being blind. No, no, why? I've moved, no, 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 don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. <laughs> I've moved so much further away from them before. And we're still blind! <laughs> uh, what the heck? Oh my god, dude. This, this fight's gonna be the death of me. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay we, we can throw a void bulb even though we're blinded so I guess we'll do that 
They did not care. <laughs> One might say a cursed run. Yeah, no kidding. So far, this run has been a complete nightmare. Yeah, dude, the game is not being kind to us. Why did initiative break there? Like, we were... It was, like, right here. We weren't even, like, 40 meters away. Earlier, they were still in initiative, and they were, like, 70 meters away. Run away in long rest? I don't like doing that. I really don't like resetting in the middle of fights. Like, it just does not appeal to me. They can't see you? You think it was because they were blind? So many clips, yeah. And our ass cannot stop being blind. Man, we're out of spell slots and everything. You know what I would like a mod for? I want a mod to, like, expand enemies' awareness range, you know? I want them to not just break initiative and full heal if we go, like, just down the street. Oh, goodness gracious. We can't even blast them. Okay, we're gonna go this way and dash up here and, and knock them into the abyss. That's the plan. Come get me, bozo. Get Cole is my personal hero because we have the same haircut and we're both wide. That's understandable. I kind of want to look at Get Cole's haircut now. It's a pretty nice haircut. You're rocking a fly cut. Okay, we can see again. Thank God. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna haste. If we if we die, we die. So be it. I should have hit him with our offhand attack first. <clears throat> I would want to significantly increase the delay between taking damage and full heals. Yeah. That would be nice. Favorite class? Uh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Uh, I haven't played all the classes in this game. Prone and Frightened. That's the combo. That's the dream combo. But... In 5th edition, uh, my favorite classes are probably Wizard or Barbarian. So if an enemy is prone and frightened, frightened makes it so they can't, they, have, they basically have like zero movement. Uh, and prone makes it so they have to spend half of their movement to stand up. So they just pass their turn. It's a pretty good combo. Where are you? Way, way back. Where are you? This guy didn't full heal. The two guys that were like right next to us full healed. Um, so we can't really hit him this turn, but we can break his invisibility. Right there. Alright, use that football throwing arm. There you go. And we'll we'll scamper on a little further away from him. Uh, once again, I don't want to, like, break initiative, but... Stacking prone plus frightened makes goo very good. Critfish, yeah, that's kind of uh, the, the gist of what our end game is hopefully going to be like. It's prone and frightened enemies all the time, 24-7. Uh, so I think we're gonna disable our passive this go around. Blast him a couple times. Never mind, we'll turn the passive back on. He's prone, he is not frightened. He succeeded the saving throw. I want to see what the DC for that is. Hey, yeah, that's correct. <clears throat> Once again, I forgot to do the bonus action hit. I'll get I'll get used to it eventually, I promise. I'll get better. 
That's such a cheap strat to click the portrait for invisible enemies. I love it. Yeah, it's a, it's a little cheesy. I won't lie. Okay, actually, he's like really far away. I don't think we're getting him with our offhand attack. Eh, we can we can do it. Oh my god, we we why did that deal so much damage? I thought it wasn't supposed to add our, our damage mod to our offhand attack without the dual wielding feat. Strange stuff. Strange stuff. You want repelling blast on? Oh my god, that used. Wait, I pressed the macro and it used my main hand attack. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, weird. Alright, alright game. I see you. Oh, sad. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sad. You don't need more dead guys, dude. Ease off. I think the game is just like, actually falling apart at the seams. I think I can blast him off if I, if I go like right here. Apparently not. Alright. Let's get the counterspelling over with. I'm willing to bet that's his last counterspell. I haven't really been keeping good track of his spell slots, but I'm pretty sure. Just with like, you know, some, some back of the napkin math, that's pretty good. Thorn Whip moment. You're so right. You're so right. I forgot we had that. That's pretty good. Can zombies jump? We're gonna find out. I thought you were trying to mog me or something. I don't think they can jump. Okay, let's go find that other dude. Uh, we'll break concentration on this so that nothing screwy happens. Packed its home MVP? Yeah, seriously. Alright, come on, dude. Let's finish this fight. Where are you? Save? Yeah, I guess we're not in combat anymore. Where are you? Show yourself! Like, seriously, where, where did he go? Where, where is he? Was he not here? I could have sworn he was, like, right here. Is this still Call to the Lamb? This is, wow. I like this song. Maybe you saved the game if it's so buggy. We saved, we saved, it's done. Is he invisible? There's a good chance he's invisible, yeah. Even in 5e, Pact of Tome is pretty good. I think five, it's better in 5e, right? Because you actually get to like choose the cantrips and whatnot. I think he was near the first house. Uh, I think he's just like hiding. We're just like w patrolling the area. He's invisible, like quieting his breathing. Like, oh god, don't hear me, don't hear me. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't think he's gonna reveal himself. Okay. What creatures live in waters this dark? Well, I guess that counts as a W. Shadows flickering on conversation on faces during conversations with you? I haven't noticed that. No. Uh, we're out of spell slots. I don't think. I mean, we might as well take a long rest. We're gonna need to take one anyways. You should have made us your patron, patron, so we could tell you what to do. Maybe I'll do that as like a special run. You know, I'll do like. Uh, Somebody mentioned the idea of like every now and then or like doing a raffle to have like one other person play with me and do like a duo run or like three other people or something. I don't know. Um, I think that would be kind of hectic, but I think it would be fun if we do like a. Uh, I don't know how much how many Doug Doug fans we have we've gotten here, but you know how 
occasionally he'll do like a he'll do like a sim city game where like every now every five minutes they'll elect a new mayor and there'll be like a different person in chat that just gets to like tell him what to do i think that would be pretty fun where we just do like a you know maybe like every because baldur's gate 3 is kind of like a slower game we do like every 10 minutes we elect a new mayor and they are like a new a new tadpole or something in our head to tell us what to do i think that would be pretty fun i love doug doug too he's great I think a lot of regular people aren't interesting to other viewers. Yeah, that's why I don't think we would do like the, you know, the raffle to like have other people join with me. But I do think it would be fun if like we cycle out viewers every 10 minutes. They get to like tell me what to do. Um, I mean, I wouldn't let them like micro control me because then it would take forever to get anything done with the stream delay and everything. Um, but, you know, just basic stuff like go fight, you know, go fight Bwal and his dudes. Yours truly excluded. Of course, yeah, of course, of course. 7% of your attacks in that last Dwerger fight were crits? Oh, we're falling off, man. Granted, we didn't have advantage that go around. A new squid daddy every 10 minutes, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3, but Chad is playing? Yeah, exactly, that kind of thing. Patron, Canada moment? Yeah, I did kind of say Patron. God damn. That's not a Canada moment, that's just me being bad at speaking moment. You'd think I'd be better at it given how much of it I do, but yeah. You know. You could also just have like a list of what to do next. And run polls in chat so we play as a high mind sort of thing. I like that idea. I like that idea quite a lot actually. I think that would probably be a better way to go at it. Oh, uh, we'll go... We'll lie, yeah. Actually, no, this is more in character. The intimidation. Oh my god! No! It's not possible! The absolute. Not bloody likely. It's not possible, guys! I legitimately didn't even like think we would need to fight these guys here. Oh good lord. I think that's a good thing when it's glitching out like that. I think that means it's like probably gonna work. I don't know. We'll see. Just, just go for it, man. All right. Cool. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll blast these guys. Okay. Probably should have gone up to the high ground first. That glitch is because the guidance bonus is constantly changing? Ah, oh, interesting. That is how Radamint does his Rimworld stream? He just has chat pick the next goal? Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, actually. So, doesn't look like they're within... Blast in range, but we can still go for for yank in range. Uh, we should probably heal. We took like a lot of damage. We are mind struck apparently. We could also just drop like a fat hunger of Adar on all of them. I don't hate that idea. Actually, probably best to just drop a darkness and heal up. Can't tell if this is gonna hit that guy up there. Do Hunger of Hadar here. It'll probably... Hunger of Hadar on the stairs work? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. It's a little risky. I think we'll just go Darkness. No need to, no need to be risky. We'll just use a, a potion and Darkness. I said I didn't really want to rely on Darkness, but... What the heck? How are you hitting us? How are you attacking us? <laughs> I mean, he's not hitting us. He's just shooting the wall, but like... You see that bridge in Baltimore that broke? Yeah, that was uh, scary stuff, dude. Very scary stuff. Okay, well, you wink this guy. Never mind. We will not. Uh, we also don't have advantage... Uh, Despite being in the darkness, which is happening again, which is a little upsetting, because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to. 
<clears throat> that was upsetting. I think Hunger of Adar is okay on there since it's not an aura, or since it's an aura, not a surface. Interesting. Not this. I want to yank you. This guy, if he's going to throw more bombs at us, he's got to go. And then we'll use another bigger healing pot. It suggests you just open a bug ticket and link the stream for Larian. Yeah. Risk it. It's a good meme for the video if it doesn't work. Eh, well, we're kind of committed now. I mean, we're not. We could do it, but like, I don't think it's going to change how this fight plays out, really. The end result is the same. Good lord. <laughs> I want to remind everybody that we have a significantly higher chance to get crit hits than crit misses. It's three times as likely, even. Rare Thorn Whip W? Yeah, seriously. I just realized something. One of these guys, oh my god. One of these guys sells the bone the the bow of the banshee, which is an item that I would really like. And we just knocked him into the abyss. He's not up here anymore. <laughs> hey, cool. Thank you for the $2 donation. Please keep making fun videos. Thanks. My my pleasure, dude. Thank you for the support. Yeah, cad the bow, the bow of the banshee. N I don't believe so. Ruined smart. The guy who boards? Yeah, the guy who boards. He had the he had the thing. Fuck me. Okay, I'll tell you what. I don't like reloading in the middle of combat. We'll finish up this fight and then we're gonna reload to get the bow of the banshee. And we'll just we'll just do the dialogue check. This is a fever dream. This is a stream special. Do the Dwergar Mind Masters look like MF Doom? I can see it. What is happening? What is this is the protagonist's intrusive thoughts. Yeah, seriously. Okay, there you go. We got them. Don't the bodies wash up? Do they? I know the gnome ones do. That's got to be, like, pretty nice for a, um, a blade lock gulak. That would be pretty cool. You literally had double as much crit misses as crit hits. That's so funny, dude. That's so funny. Um, I, do the bodies wash up? Can anybody confirm that? I mean, we could go take a look, you know? Why not? Ready to sail. Okay, we can skip this. I never use that footage in videos, anyways. Whipping it ready, lad. What do we got? Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the road? You will That's treat me so with respect. I. You feel the slot. In that case. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. I'd rather you cut my own throat than hand my coin to a bloody dwergar. Shit. We're not noble what if we're not that? racist. Now I'll clog your dwarf hole. Just bust in your nerves. And I'm warning you. Oh my god, what is that noise? You all hearing that? Settled up soon. What is happening? To pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Okay, so if they wash up, they probably wash up like over over here somewhere, right? Like just some dead deep gnomes. I don't think they wash up, guys. Unless it's like not here on the beach. Oh, oh. 
I like how your guy looks like a short Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't think they're here. Yeah, it doesn't look like a gang. Over there? Maybe over there. This is this is huge info if true. I think this is them. Yeah, this is them. Hot them. Hot diggity dog. That's some good info. There it is. The bow of the banshee. That's really cool. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, so... The bow of the banshee is not going to trigger often at this level. We do, it does mean that we don't get to use the, the hand crossbow off, like, offhand shooting, but, like, let's be real, that hasn't been good for us anyways. Uh, let's just rock this. Uh, the, on a hit, possibly inflict Frightened only applies to this bow. The gain 1d4 bonus to attack and damage against Frightened creatures applies to, I believe, weapon, like, all weapon attacks. But the plus 1d4 bonus to attack rolls applies to spell attacks too. So it's very selective in what parts of this text applies to what. But we will, at least if we frighten a creature with our first beam, get a d4 bonus to the second beam. Which is probably not worth it, but it says frightened, and so it fits the build. Our 1d6 damage per turn is more like 1d6 damage every, like, five turns. Ice magic and detect alignment. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that's that's warlock patron Santa Claus. I love that idea. That's so good. For one d six damage per fight. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um. I don't think there's a ton else that we care about here. I said about really weird. Please don't judge me for it. Um, we'll talk to this guy. Maybe he'll give us the iron alloy. Or the infernal alloy. You can always sell it, you know? Smooth face. Cobbled edges. They're a sign. We're probably just gonna free near. And then, like, not go against him. We don't have much of a reason to go against him. And then we'll just do the Grim fight, which is going to be a little wacky, I think, actually. What's the Infernal Alloy made of? Sulfur and Iron? Who knows, man? Who knows? Tell me what you see. And be thorough. How are we gonna do the uh, the Grim fight? Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two. I mean, it'll probably just be the usual deal. Just try and like keep him at bay. Can we frighten Grim? Probably not, huh? No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through. An Technically, if you guys play an ally, you can get Santa Claus to get you a fiend, celestial, or elemental help you. To help you, which means Planar Ally gives you Frosty the Snowman. I love that. What do you think? Bonus damage against Naughty List enemies. <laughs> That's so good. That's actually so good. The statue's meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered mason. Misty step back up to the ledge and Elder Blast Grim. We can do that too. Yeah, we could do like the, the you know, lure him to the center with minor illusion or whatever and then go up. Like, we are not ever going to not be able to take out Grim here. But I like to... I, like, I want to, like, at least try and fight him, you know? I believe all constructs are immune to fight, and good to know. 
We're rolling good, boys. Reindeer mount, yeah. You can, oh, if you go Pact of the Chain with Santa Claus as your patron, you can conjure uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> I am ready to report my observations. An entire history. Yeah, Find Greater Steed has to be a uh, expanded spell list. History. An ancient spell, for sure. Hewn from the stone by disciples of Shah, later abandoned. Untold centuries later. And oh, and you know what? Rudolph definitely has like a passive ability that like wherever he looks, he dispels magical darkness. In like a cone in front of him. I wish Baldur's Gate 3 had mounts. I can see why it doesn't, but still, a girl can dream. It would be pretty cool. Rudolph has a gun. Oh, no. It annoys me that the Steel Watch are constructs. What do you think they should be if not constructs? I mean, I know they have like, you know, little brains inside of them or powering them or whatever, but. Gaseous form so you can get down chimneys. That's so good. Uh, we'll take a potion of speed. Just in case. And you know what? I dare say that we should sell off some of this garbage. We're never really going to be using this, so we'll sell that too. Definitely not going to be using that. Mm, we might use Falara Louvre maybe one day, perhaps. Never going to use the sickle of Bual. Bual. Aw, he's out of money. They're basically Doctor Who Cybermen? I guess they kind of are, yeah. Rudolph sucks at charisma checks because he wasn't allowed to join in the reindeer games, yeah. He has the uh, traumatized from bullying permanent debuff. You can guess Minor Feast, which gives you milk and cookies. I love how into this Santa Claus patron we're getting. Somebody needs to make it happen. What do you think, Let's trade some gold. You don't Drop it. What a what a mean guy. Do we have bombs? Not a lot of them. Let's go get some more. Honestly, Santa being a crazed chronergy chron chron wizard would be hilarious because he controls time to travel all the children. He controls time to travel to all the children in the world. I can see that, yeah. I wonder if you could give your targets coal and ignite it. Yeah, that, that would be pretty. We could definitely try and pull off like a like a a Santa build in this game. We could um. We could get those gloves that are like where whenever you steal something you get coal so that we like always have coal. Uh, and then we could just like reverse pickpocket coal into people's inventories when we're when they're being naughty. <laughs> I a hundred percent should have quick saved before this, but uh Isn't there supposed to be like a button here or something? I'm way too big. Oh, there it is. What class would it be, Bard? I mean, we'd... For the, for the sneaking, for the never being seen, we'd probably have to go rogue, right? Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but yeah, we, we'd like have to go rogue for the, the stealth part. Uh, we should definitely have... A lot of Frost theme going on, too. But maybe that's more like Jack Frost coded. We could... Is there like an elk summon in this game? Can you summon a giant elk? Priest for greater invisibility and pass without trace. Yeah, we could do like a cleric for that as well. No, no elk summon? Bummer. Uh, 
and to the druid. What about ranger for like a, a beast companion? We could just like pretend it's Runal. <laughs> Deep Roth summon is close. It is pretty close, yeah. Um, okay. There's no fight here if you just, like, side with Nier, right? Pretty sure there's no fight here. We'll, we'll find out. I mean, there's no harm in quick... Or, not in quick saving. In, uh, short resting. Anyways, but, uh... Oh, well. If I shoot this with force damage, does it blow up? This is when ignited, so should probably ignite it. All right, ho sorry, fellas, I, that was a little premature. Let me uh, got our bow. Where's the where's the dip? What does dip look like? I never do it. There it is. Where is it? There it is. All right, so sorry, fellas, that that wasn't quite enough. Stand back, stand back. All right, hold hold up, fellas. I gotta I gotta dip my weapon again. Can you just Eldritch blast the rubble? I don't think we deal enough damage with it. Oh well, it's done. Well, that guy's burning to death. Yeah, you keep healing, Beldrum. Near, buddy, what you doing in there? There you go. He's like, oh shit, it's it's open. Finally. They will get angry if you accidentally hit them with a bomb. Not Happened to me once. Good to know. Competence has been my ruin. We don't have agonizing blast. We have agonizing blast. What's the damage threshold on it? Is it ten? If it was ten, we could totally have done it. But oh well, it's done. Near is cringe. He is pretty cringe. We'll say nothing. I never knew you could dip a bow into a torch to get fire damage. That's sick. You could do it on pretty much every weapon. Not just bows. You could do it with, like, you know, great swords and <laughs> other such weapons. You need to do 11 or more with Eldritch Blast? Oh, then we definitely could have done it. For some reason, I thought it was the, the 20 damage or more status that it had. Nier is 100% on the naughty list? Oh, for sure, yeah. Tell him, true soul. No bark is root second run in a row, I know, I'm sorry. Say nothing. Near pities you, friend. Your errors He's a villain, alright? Just not a super one, yeah. And your sorry end. Do you think Santa has a podcast? Or did you know Santa has a podcast? I did not. Maybe a sleep build for Santa playthrough. Okay, hear me out. We go a sleep build, and then just whenever they fall asleep, reverse pocket coal into their inventories, and then just run away from the fight. Are you finishing Act One today? That that's the plan. Yeah. You need to finish the Barkus Root Arc sometime. I don't know if we'll be able to like actually save the. Gondians in the factory, though, is the problem. With, like, any run, they just die so easily, man. Like, I think Thelonious is as close as we get. If you insist. Show them no mercy. Their corpses will make a We build is, like, old Luke... Mistress. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, so there is a fight. Um, there's a pretty big fight. Huh. We just have Nier on our side? Well, that's not good. We might be able to blast that guy into the lava. We're certainly not blasting anybody else into the lava. Uh, I think... Man, everybody here hates Nier. Yeah, we could get a mean uh, Hunger of Hadar right here and then just, like, run back this way or something. Why is the eye on the enemy side? I didn't even notice that, yeah. Life comes easy these days. 
Okay. Uh, what if we get hunger of Adar and then run into this room behind near? I don't hate that idea. Let's do that. Okay, hopefully this doesn't knock us into the poison. If you side against Nier, doesn't he have people that help him? What happens to those people when you side with him? Are they all like, uh, he's got, like, Gunther on his side? Ah, oh, Gunther's stinky. We hate him. Excuse me, did you just Hunter's Mark Nier and then start shooting us? Can't that be a lesson to you? Nier sucks. Nier does kind of suck, yeah. Is our hunger of Hadar still broken? Yep. Still broken. Cool. Calling reinforcements. Or wait, are you serious? Is the scrying eye calling more people for for the enemy? <laughs> Why? Uh well, we'll last this person and I think this person. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen reinforcements actually show up. <laughs> oh my god, they did it! They did the Hunger of Hadar Arrow of Roaring Thunder thing. Oh man, it sucks to be that guy. Dude, what? My brother in Christ? <laughs> Isn't you gonna get pissed off at me for being damaged by my spell? I don't think we have it in us to kill all these guys. What the fuck, Nier? <laughs> Okay, his concentration got broken. Good. Oh, we're too far back. Okay, you get blasted back. And would really like to hit this person. Target is too far. I mean, I want to hit the people that are, like, more likely to shoot me. The ranged guys are kind of a problem. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, that's a couple of nice crit hits, and they're all frightened. You'll love to see it. <clears throat> Zero IQ Q near, yeah. This is always on to nothing, yeah. Did Nier just attack you? Wait, did he? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Nier, buddy. My god. Okay, cool. That was not how I was expecting that fight to go, like, at all. Uh, yeah, go for the people with the crossbows. That's definitely the play. No frightened that time. We probably want to get up to high ground, too, if I'm being real with you. Which, in that case, we probably should have gone up here first and then blasted them more like that way. But, you know what? Best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time is now. We're doing it now. And then we'll move back, so hopefully they can't shoot us. Uh, what armor are we wearing? We're just wearing some basic medium armor. Nothing fancy. Why are NPC allies in this game so dumb? Who knows, man? Who knows? What an arc on this guy. 
At least he's missing. Okay. Uh, so we'll go up to the edge here. That is interrupted. Blast this person a little back, and this person a little back. Wasn't that like a 96% chance to hit? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I think we're gonna need to go shopping for some more healing potions. Uh, before we take on Grim. I wasn't expecting this to be like a problem fight. I wasn't expecting to have to fight the people on the boat either. We're... Our checks are not doing good. Is this run only using Eldritch Blast? Oh, we got a Hunger of Adar right here. It's just a Warlock, so there's a lot of Eldritch Blast. I just beat the... I just beat the Inquisitor solo honor with Eldritch Blaster. And that was kind of a strategy to kill his guards first. Then it is super easy because of repelling and tons of damage. Yeah. Once you thin down that fight, it comes a lot easier. Though even with the fight thinned with uh, honor mode. It's still rough, so good job. Good job. Crit miss and a crit hit, that's a, that's a double whammy. Are you for fucking real, dude? So literally everybody here is our enemy because we sided with the guy who rules the place. Whereas if we side against him, then he still has allies? What? Okay, good to know. Always side against Nier, I guess. I loved that silence, yeah, as I got shoved off the edge. Oh my good lord. Getting the extra damage from him throwing from high ground. It broke our concentration, too. I think the reasoning is that the dwarves that would side with Nier are pissed that he force choked that one dwarf. Yeah, I, I guess I can see that. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go back a little bit. And we'll do the... So if we if we side so if we trigger the insurrection and then side with Nier, then Nier has allies. So that's what we're gonna do, I guess. You could have you could have dealt with their leader and stand on the dwarf side. Yeah, I, I know that's what we're talking about. Yeah, there's no way our Eldritch Blast is breaking through this, by the way. Did you just load a save? Yeah, after we died. <laughs> you need to defend Thrin. If we defend Thrin, Nier has allies. Okay. Okay, we'll try that. Just check in for bingo? Okay. That one. Yes, that one. Eldritch Blast does double damage? Why? It's not vulnerable to force. If you're gonna kill everyone, you might as well do that before letting Nero. Well, I don't want to kill everyone. I want to do this fight with allies. Uh, do Wait, do we or do we not get allies if we side with the Dwarf Lady? Like, if we defend her. You know, let's test it. Let's test it. Oh, man. <laughs> the fire wore off. Is that called a lamb background music? It sure is. It sure is. Sorry, fellas. Gotta use another charge. You have to kill the eye right. Well, that's if you want the dwarves on your side. I'm I'm trying to get the dwarves on Nier's side. I'm just going to see what happens. What 
Because last time we did it, we convinced the dwarves to revolt against him. And then we freed Nier. And then Nier had allies. But I don't rem- But we also let her him kill the sergeant that go around. So I don't know why he wouldn't have allies if we just don't convince the dwarves to rebel against him. So we, we say nothing here. Have you finished all solar ones? What will you do next? Will you plan on doing Dragon's Dogma? I'm not really that interested in Dragon's Dogma, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, besides, I have many solo runs planned for, for years to come. Has 23 just released? Yeah, it released before I uh, booted up the stream today. Just a, just a hot fix. And this fiasco is how you reward her. Me and mine worked flat out. I was cracking the whip day and night. Tell him, true soul. Your best was okay, so we stand up for her. Near pities you and then he still kills her, and then we still have to kill everybody here. So we only get... And your sorry end. We only get allies if we first convince the enemies to... to, to team up against near like we only get allies as near near only gets allies if we convince people to fight against near what worthless every last one their failures must be punished true soul take their heads the absolute command Okay, uh, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna reload and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the, the other, the way I know it works. I just wanna, I just wanna side with the bad guys. <laughs> Take your time, Truant. I'm sorry, my brain is struggling to wrap my head around that fact. You can block doors with shovel and then spam blast behind the door. Yeah, I was actually kind of wondering if we could do that. That's good to know. Nier gets allies no matter what. You just can convert a couple of them to help. We just did the fight and he didn't have any allies. So let's talk to these guys. Drugging out. Off with you. Private conversation. You gone bar me. I hear the ears are first to go. Whatever you think. Then you can side against Nier with the rebel dwarves. But we're trying to side with Nier. Oh my god. Do I need to load an earlier save? Because I, I dismissed them. Okay. Is it here? You can win the fight, bro. We probably could. I'll tell you what, if this save is not... Like, if, if this is already after we dismiss them, then we'll just do the fight the old-fashioned way. <laughs> What's the diff between barrel and shovel, Mancy? Seen a run with them. Someone should grab it. Okay, so Slaves this is far enough back. Pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. I don't understand why Nier only gains allies if you do it this way. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nier? See, but the problem is, I don't think our character would do this, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think our, our character would, would have a reason to, like, Hit these guys against near we would just free near god damn it okay i'll fight them all i'll fight them all <laughs> we don't need them you guys are right
if you if you side with Nina, it will always be just the two of you against them. I I do not believe that's true. I'm gonna I'm gonna load up my old video here. Okay, hold up. I got my Act One Michelle video. Whoops. Hold up, guys. Hold up. We free Nier, and Nier has five, six allies. Nier can gain allies. You just need to betray him first. Okay, it's fine. We'll fight them all. Just the two of us. It's like some Machiavellian shit, putting people against each other to start a fight so you can more easily win is in character. I want him to be, like, less manipulative, though, and more, like, a f straight up front with his evil intentions, you know? For the most part. Like, obviously, uh, most of this is deceptive because we were infiltrating the cult and whatnot. But that's because our patron asked this, too. Yeah, if you go with Brithbar's plan and then side with Mir, then you get allies. Which is really weird to me. Evil doesn't always have to mean stupid. But it's not stupid, because you shouldn't expect everybody to kill Nier when you free him, when they're all trying to free him. Like, they're not trying to free him to kill him. So a big dumb evil? I don't, I don't think it's that dumb. Like, you just don't... But, like, what reason would my character have to believe that they're trying to kill him the second he gets out? <laughs> your patron bestowed onto you with the knowledge of what will happen or something? Yeah, well, I guess we could do that. Some are trying to kill him, yeah, but that's why I'm kind of expecting some of them to side against him. Your patron is metagaming. Okay, fine. We'll be a little duplicitous. We'll we'll gain the allies. You guys have convinced me. Uh. I just. I just don't think it makes any sense. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> Your patron is Metastopheles. Everyone's just trying to kill him. They could just leave him with the poison gas. Yeah, exactly. And if they want his gold, they could just wait for him to die and then break him out and then get his gold. Like, it literally just makes no sense. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Oh well. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Well, would you look at that curve? VH, their main so motivation seems to be getting paid. In my opinion, the best way for them to do that would be to let him die and loot his corpse. There shouldn't there shouldn't be any worry to any they shouldn't be in any hurry to free him. Yeah, exactly. What do you think, Should we take Most of them don't even seem loyal to him. Yeah, exactly. I hate these true soul cultists. Soul if I didn't know better, you don't I have to do anything you don't want to, Trent. Okay, first of all, <laughs> love being called just Trent. That's just really funny. I don't know. 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 It's just... I'm really on the fence here. You don't need to ask twice. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. You chop this one. And Nia won't pay a damn copper. The main Fine. dwarf with the thundering literally Still has an amulet of the absolute. Yeah. Choke on your stench. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. I ain't parleying with more twat souls. That stench don't lie. Hmm. <laughs> I would never bow to the absolute. I don't know. Should should we just try and fight them all? Could be you're right. Something's different with you. In that case, want to earn some gold? Yeah. 
What do you need done? After the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nier. But we ain't need glory. The wild card is Nier. Just if you side with Nier, he tries to kill all the Dwergar. Otherwise, he doesn't give them any reason to suspect he wants them dead. Help Thryn free Nier. Then you and my chums. I mean, either way, he kills the one spoils, Dwergar. We'll drop you a fat cut. You in? Sounds good. I expect half the spoils. Wait, shit. This is the one that, like, if he doesn't like, yeah, you just she just doesn't give you half. anything. Okay. You drugnin. Fine. Half it is, but first. I feel like you could fight them all, but it's up to you, really. Something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're gonna I do. Here's what we're gonna do. And don't get caught. The cult watches through it, and we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a save here. We're gonna give the the fight one more attempt, and if it goes south, we'll just we'll do all that stuff. That's the plan. That's the plan. If you want, you could try to pick some off. Then get, they get called in prior to the fight. I mean, we could do that too, but once again, I think our, our character would be more likely to try and set up some infighting than do that, I think. I'm imagining like a lawful evil character who tries to be like less deceptive and more just like, you know, intimidating and persuasive to like make people work for him that way. And I also don't think he'd believe that any, you know, freeing near would cause literally everybody to try and hate us, given that they're all asking us to help free near. Okay, we'll drop a quick save. Do we have any elixirs that can help us? Not really. We could drop an elixir of uh, vigilance. Hey, this could actually help us. Advantage on concentration saves? Why not? Uh, uh, and then we'll get shovel in the fight. Shovel will go invisible. Another little quick save. I think we're good to go. If you leave and come back later, everyone is gone. Nier's just there, dead on the floor. True, we could always do that too. Another trick up my sleeve. Never once. What are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. Get by the ladder. You're so right. We'll do that. Is there a torch near the ladder? Doesn't look like it. Is there a torch up the ladder? Nope. Okay, we, we do need a source of fire, unfortunately. Uh, so we can throw this up here. <laughs> is chat turning itself horny for near? What is, what is going on? That's chat for you, yeah. That's the wrong action. Dip that in fire, and then we'll, we'll run up here real quick. And we'll... Do this real quick so it doesn't expire while I'm aiming. Okay. Near, you coming out, buddy? Okay, there you go. There you go. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, shoot. Do we need to be down there for the cutscene to trigger? Man, we need to be down there for the cutscene to trigger. Finally. I was thinking about ethyl strats. What if I don't have darkness? Can I still use Arrows of Darkness? Is that okay? What's your opinion? Yeah, yeah, that's what I usually do in uh, most of my runs. Just Arrows of Darkness. Trigger the convo with Shovel? I don't think uh, Shovel can trigger the con uh, convo. Okay, we'll no. say nothing. No. We 
Yeah, force choke um. Do you think Ethel is kind of cute? You're getting dangerously close to smash or pass territory right there. The absolute gave you and everything. it's not that I don't see all the smash or pass comments in the chat. I'm just getting much better at ignoring them. I was cracking the whip day and night. Tell him true soul. I mean, we'll still stick up for her just to Your see what happens. Good enough. Near pities you. Just in case it really does change things. And excuses. And you're sorry. Ban the phrase smash or pass. I don't know if it pisses me off that much. I'm trying to win bingo. Then do better at manipulating me. I'm proud of you, Trent. Oh, Thank you. Your skull buzzes. Everyone who asks goes to the true log. It's like a gulag, but for truant souls, it's a good idea. Every last one. Their failures must be punished. True soul, take their heads. The absolute commands it. If you insist. Show them no mercy. Their corpses will make a fine offering to our mistress. Okay. I could have sworn I made Shovel Invisible. Maybe I'm losing my mind. There's a very real possibility of that. They will spawn just like a little too far away from the lava, which has me real sad. Can I void ball with them into the lava? Probably not. Uh, so Hunger of Hadar worked like pretty good last time. I don't really hate that idea. I would like to see if I can shove this guy off first though. That was kind of in the way here, huh? No. Another thing we could do is we could just cast darkness and then, uh, you know, rain down hell on them, which is probably the optimal play, but I really don't want to rely on darkness. So we're just going to do this. And we'll go from here. Please, Nier. Come on, dude. Why? Why why run in just to cast mage armor? There're like a million true souls every like every third person in this game is a true soul pretty much, yeah. a lot of damage we just took. <laughs> nice and safe in the hunger. Yeah, Nier is no coward. Yeah, seriously. At least he's kind of keeping them in there. Like they, they seem pretty content being in there so long as Nier's in there. Okay, that person's an enemy too. Uh, I don't hate the idea of just trying to, like, throw this person off the edge, if I'm being honest with you. Never mind, they're too heavy to throw. Okay, in that case, we... yeah, we really need to deal with this person. I was really hoping to break their concentration, I am not gonna lie. Heal up. In their turn. Uh. So many dwarves near to that guy down there, yeah. Frighten them. Oh my god. Oh, shovel pissed off the other one. When are you doing a run where you kill everyone with Gale's dead body? That's not really the type of enjoyment that I get from uh, playing Baldur's Gate. Like, I can see how some people would enjoy uh, 
you know, beating the game due to like exploits and glitches and stuff, but eh, it's not really how I enjoy it. What did you use the ogres for? We used them to beat the spiders. Guy joins combat bingo? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you said bingo. I thought you got it. I'm getting close, he says. I feel like these guys are killing him like like faster than I remembered. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't worry, scrying eye. Also, why is the scrying eye against near? Just why to any of it, honestly. We we will continue bullying this person. Frightened and prone. That's what you love to see. He's gonna die. He's just gonna end his turn and die. Oh my god. <laughs> Near, <laughs> buddy. Well, that's a once per short rest ability, huh? Okay. Well, that was a misplay then. Ah. Uh. The scrying eyes against Nier because Kethrick saw what an idiot he is? Yeah, fair. Okay, hopefully they're not hitting us with disadvantage. Also, aren't they blinded? Isn't the... Wow. That was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, isn't the blinded thing supposed to prevent people from, like, targeting guys more than three meters away? <laughs> oh, he just reduced himself and ran back into the hunger after his buddy went through the process of getting him out. Crit miss plus miss, great last turn near. Yeah, he's, he's, he's doing something, all right. I wish I could break this ladder so bad. Okay, Shovel, you keep that person distracted. We'll, we'll try and deal with these guys down here. It's interrupted, don't say that. Okay, surely we get that guy blasted back with one one hit. And then we'll shoot uh, this guy back a little bit, maybe. These misses, man, they're, they're not doing good things for me. They're not. I'm a little worried of getting uh, shoved off the, the top here again, if this guy dashes. I might Misty Step Away. I'm going to Misty Step Away. Switch to our melee weapons and Misty Step right next to this guy. Can you hit the coal over them? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, we, we definitely could. We could drop that down on them. That probably would have been a good idea. And Shovel's gonna help us beat this guy up. Oh, there's another guy here! Oh, no! Oh, wait, that's like a really good spot for him to be standing. definitely a fat rip shovel moment, you know? Come on, you have disadvantage, you have disadvantage, okay. Excellent, we got one of them. Man, this is a, this is a stressful fight. I, I think this is the point where we drop a darkness. Like, I once again, I don't like relying on darkness, but I don't think the game is going to let me have it both ways, where we side with Nier and also don't play optimally. So we'll do this. Pass another Hadar by the stairs. I'm pretty sure darkness is just the play. Especially because it's supposed to block enemies from targeting us with ranged attacks? What the hell, dude? 
we were 100% in the darkness that time too, right? Did they... Whoa. Okay. Did they change that? There's no way that guy has Devil's Sight. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Cool. Okay, we'll do it this way. We'll be manipulative. Throws does, don't count. They can still throw at you. Okay. Throw attacks don't count as ranged attacks, unfortunately. Interesting. They have a unique throw attack that ignores darkness is likely an oversight. Good to know. This game, dude. This game. Okay, let's take out the scrying eye. Come here, scrying eye. Follow me, buddy. I'll feel that one later. A lot to study here. I love the game for that. Yeah, there's a lot of really niche stuff. Um, we'll do another quick save here. And get it a little closer to the edge. It's probably good enough. Target is too close, so we have disadvantage with throwing it. Throw it, man. What? That's just ground? You could be down there? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Um. Oh, sorry, there's a guy coming by. Don't mind me. I'm just <laughs> minding my own business over here. Stuff works a lot better for this. I just didn't think we'd need to. Okay, we're good. You. Oh no. You can knock it into the pit, guys. I do it in every run, pretty much. Uh, it's just, apparently, that doesn't count as a chasm. Not this run, you can't. You're so right, yeah. <laughs> I usually just, like, actually, like, knock him into the pit. I don't usually throw him. So... The ice clobbered. I guess it doesn't really like us throwing him into the chasm, but oh well. To bust near out and shred him. Tetherick is doing the Spider-Man laughing on the other side of the eye. Yeah, he's just watching us flounder about. Tomorrow's one of the Easter holidays. What's it called in English? I Is tomorrow a holiday? Oh, man. Oh, we don't... Oh, it's... Oh, it is Easter coming up. Good lord. Ever since I started living alone, holidays just don't exist for me. Um... I don't, my calendar doesn't say it's a holiday, though. It's, I mean, we, I know we have Good Friday coming up. We got Easter Sunday and Easter Monday, but it doesn't say anything about Thursday being a holiday. Clean up this mess. <laughs> Easter Sunday is on Sunday. You're so right. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do this. Where's the bombs? Oh, I didn't get the bombs! Okay. I'll be right back, gang. We gotta go get the bombs. Only holiday I have alone, birthday? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I am I'm was fortunate enough to even, like, moving to a new city. I've made some very nice friends pretty quickly, so I spent my birthday with them. But even then, like, man, spending, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas alone just kind of sucks. That was an auto save, so we should be good. Save before passive perception check. Yeah, I, I mean, like when the auto save popped up, I was a little less worried. Um, 
If we didn't have the autosave, I definitely would have quick saved. Uh oh, my little baby cat's yelling at me. She woke up and she realized that I am that she is not being played with. Just on the front. I'm getting eating Twizzlers in my car, waiting for my ship to start. I can't believe how much time I've spent just trying to do this fight. By the way, I was expecting to finish this fight like easy peasy a while ago. Theodosia probably heard being mentioned in the chat. Probably, she's got keen ears. In like an hour, yeah. I mean, we're still siding with Nier, but this time he's just gonna have allies for some reason. I don't know, man. Where's the satchel? There it is. Okay, don't go back there yet, guys. Oh. God, God didn't even need to shoot it a second time. We're gonna start going up here. Actually, no, I forgot. We need to be down here for the friggin' cutscene to play. Well, we might as well get Shovel up and at him. I don't think we'll need to waste any elixirs or anything else on this, though. I don't mean to be disheartening here, but how do we know for sure Nier will have allies when you side with him now? Watch. Plays over that you went to go help people in the video? I probably will, yeah. To keep the narrative intact, you know? In three words or less, describe how you feel when you need to reload a save. Three words or less? You sure you don't want two words or less? Three. Is modding wonky for you, Truant? I don't know. I've never tried modding. Gave you everything. And this fiasco is how you reward Three. Oh, what, what kind of... Three or five? I thought you wanted me to say no bueno. But now I just have no idea what you want me to say. Near pities you, Thryn. Three or less equals two? Three or less is three or less, man. What, what are you talking about? Sorry, end. Literally three or less. Oh, I thought you modded Baldur's Gate 3 slightly? No, I'm a, I'm a vanilla player. You opposed to doing a modded run or just not your thing? Just not my thing. Got played by the three words. And you still ain't paid up. Sell it up, you prick hole. Drop the blade, Dwerger. You shall have your coin. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. We beat your ass and dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. You were made to say no bueno. I was I was manipulated, yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Now that's the type of manipulation I'm looking to see. Download handsome Gortash mod. I'm for sure going to do it in the uh in the modded playthrough, yeah. Okay, attack Brithfar and the Dwergar rebels. Watch this gang. Damn it. I'll rip your flesh clean off. Now he's got allies. Explain. It's not like he didn't still kill the sergeant. It's not like uh, last time, like he he says to us mentally, uh, so we we're, we need to kill them all because they're all failures. And then out loud he says, you know, kill these guys for me. But like, you know what? What? <laughs> Someone stuck a curse mod on your PC? It's but that's how the game is programmed. That's just like the how it goes. Okay, we're gonna bully this guy. Frightened. He is scared. Uh, what's your favorite drug, Druid? Probably weed. 
I've only done two drugs, and weed has definitely been my preferred. Seems kind of buggy. I mean, it's not a bug. It's literally just how they programmed it to happen. Like, these guys are our allies now that we've triggered these guys to be our enemies. I don't know, it's weird. Drugs discussion is, is risky, yeah. We're not gonna talk about it too much. I feel like, like weed is pretty okay to talk about. I mean, it's legal in my country, at least. Okay, we'll blast you. You know, we'll just like make extra sure to blast you. Okay, I'm not losing my mind. The indicator said he would go into the lava, right? Like, that that's a thing that happened. <laughs> oh, man. It's fine. We're, we'll just stay up here. Alcohol is also a drug from a POV? Okay, well, I guess I've done three drugs then. It's not what you think, it's what YouTube thinks. Yeah, I mean... You're right, you're right. We'll be careful. When can you do weed in Canada, Mr. Truman? I believe you have to be 19. That's our legal... I mean, well, actually... I don't know. I think it varies provincially. Um, in British Columbia, the province where I grew up, the legal drinking age, and I'm pretty sure the legal cannabis age, is 19. Uh, in Alberta, which is the province where I live now, the legal drinking age is 18, and I'm not too sure what the legal cannabis age is. Probably the same. I can't imagine it would be different. Who are we beating up? This guy. Heretic. You should never have come. Quality Gate 3 is also a drug for real, yeah. I'll be real, Nier and Co. still aren't doing great. They're not doing phenomenally, but I mean, like, at least we have more meat shields now. Legal cannabis age in Alberta is 35. I somehow doubt that. I zoned out and we're talking about drugs. What did I miss? Oh, we're just talking about coping methods to deal with the absurdity that is trying to get allies on Nier's side. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 is that goodish? You're so right. It is that goodish. Manitoba is the best. Are you Manitoban? Because I can't imagine anybody who isn't Manitoban <laughs> saying that. Do you need near alive or just want the bodies for the fight? I just think it's what our character would do. Like, we're, our character would do the most practical thing while sticking to, to being like, you know, relatively prideful and whatnot. And it's just like, it just makes sense to free him and side with him because he's the most powerful, especially in terms of the cult that we're trying to infiltrate. Yeah, we'll finish this guy off. Yeah, that was, that was a little overkill. Bye bye, gotta work. Good luck, Mr. Streamer. Sounds good, Saturn. What's your favorite class? I've yet to play them all in Baldur's Gate 3, but I, uh, in 5th edition, I am a pretty big fan of Barbarian and Wizard, so I'm gonna go with those two. I'm from Manitoba. It is not the best. Yeah, I mean, even Manitobans aren't, aren't convinced of that. So, I, I've only been to provinces. I've only ever been to Alberta and British Columbia, and I gotta admit, I have a hard time imagining most other provinces beating British Columbia. Have you tried a barbarian wizard? I have yet to do that. Yeah. We'll blast you. Yeah, get into the lava. I think we killed them before they hit the lava, which is kind of a bummer. How far ahead do you plan your lone wolf builds? This one I planned like a day before I started it. Oh, there goes near. I did not realize he was that low health. What do you think is the best single class for a lone wolf run? 
Best single class, huh? Probably a fighter. Buying a house in BC costs your liver? Oh, yeah. No, BC... I mean, like... Policy-wise, and like housing-wise, and government-wise, I... <laughs> I can definitely see BC not being the best, but in terms of like the province itself, like the land, the the views, everything, it's just, it's hard to imagine a better province. That's just rude. Surely we don't miss another coin flip. We missed another coin flip. Give me your top five Colombias. Uh, number one, British Columbia. Number two, Colombia. I don't know any other Colombias. Oh, uh, why fighter? I mean, three attacks, proficiency with every type of armor. Uh, Got action surge for when you really need bursts. You have sustained damage. You're not resource heavy. Uh, you can deal both good ranged and melee damage. Uh, man, this is still like a problem fight, huh? Do we drop a hold person? No, not with a 65% chance for it to fail. I think instead what we do... Is cast darkness. Oh, that revealed shovel for some reason. Well, that's interesting. And then... I was kind of expecting to be able to shove him off the edge from here. I'm not gonna lie. Guess it's not happening. Yeah, we'll just stay here then. So that he can't shove us off the edge. Ideally. Here, maybe? Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Uh, there's also the Columbia Publisher and the Columbia Outdoor Gear brand. You know a lot of Columbias, huh? Applying any status effect removes invisibility, which is crazy. I did not know that, yeah. I mean, he's still invisible. It just, like, revealed him. Okay, get out here, Shovel. No, he's not gonna make it back. Back into the darkness, I just made him blind for no reason. We do not have advantage on our attacks. Which is, as the kids say, a bummer. Come on, man. We can, we can hit him. I believe. I believe. I did not pay enough attention where we were standing in terms of pushing. He's going to shove us off the edge. Somebody's going to shove us off the edge. Please don't shove me off the edge. Please don't shove me off the edge. Thank you. Okay. Please hit this man. Thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll wedge ourselves into this little corner and hopefully we're feeling okay here. Another seven hour stream, please. It might end up being one, yeah. Okay, maybe it was a misplay to move this far back, because now he's inclined to throw shit at us. Okay, thank god, he is dead. We're definitely gonna need to go potion shopping after this.
You were out walking a late evening and a fighter wearing potent robes steps out in front of you. What do you do? Cry. Okay. That guy is directly underneath us, which is a bit of a pain. We'll blast this guy instead. Apparently, you're not going anywhere. It's amazing how good railings are in this game at doing their jobs. You love to see the double crit. F prone and frightened, that guy's not getting a next turn. Are you pressing A and down when the dice is rolling? That's how I make the RNG of Pokemon catching better? Oh my god, you're right. I'm an idiot. What have I been doing? Where's this guy at? Okay, actually, I actually have no idea. Wait, wait, sorry, could you do that again? Okay, they're directly underneath us. Surely we can survive one turn outside of the darkness, right? Surely. I'll use another healing pod just to be sure. Uh, chat, does robe... Does the robe that gives charisma bonus cantrips combine with Eldritch invocations? So it'll be like plus three plus three. Yeah, it, it does. That's the that's the potent robe. Um, let's see if we can get a shove off. Yeah, that was a little hopeful, huh? Forty nine percent chance to hit with disadvantage. Okay, if this hits, we'll throw an armor bag at this. Oh, I'm gonna have to broke our concentration. That doesn't count. Although it was a crit, which is just rude. D and Diosha make sure the railings on this plane is very safe. No kidding, dude. No kidding. I have a paladin wearing potent robes at the moment with 22 AC. I could do the same as a fighter. Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of nuts like that. You can get pretty silly high AC with just like... Pretty much any class. Pretty much dominated this fight, by the way. Yeah, I mean, once we have, like, six extra meat shields, it goes pretty okay. We do still need to deal with this person, though. Who might be a little bit annoying. Still just hanging out down there, huh? So Darkness like, got Shovel into the fight. Maybe it's because we affected him with a spell, but it didn't break his invisibility. So I don't think it'll do it for this person either. We just gotta like throw something at him. What if we throw this down here? Apparently we can't do. What if we drop a Hunger of Hadar on them? Can we call lightning down here? We can if we move back out. I think Hunger of Adar is probably better. We'll move down here, drop a Hunger of Adar, and just watch them cry for a little while. I think they're in the center of the room? Ah, right over there. That's okay. We'll, we'll drop it right on them. It didn't reveal them yet, but they'll take damage and then it should reveal them. Well, that's just rude, dude. Now you're silenced for longer. Are you skipping the Shark Gauntlet with Nock? I never really see much of a point in doing it. Like, it's not, it doesn't take long to do the Shark Gauntlet, with the exception of the Yuri Gear fight, and I like doing the Yuri Gear fight. Uh, we'll turn this off for now. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. Okay, we did it. Who the hell is this guy? That death curse be damned. I'm heading to Moonrise. Time for the general to recognize us Dwegar that have been the heck? around here. It's time I cut you down once and for all. Who is this guy? Why do we care about this guy? There he goes. What the hell? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> he appears if the dwarf you recruited died. In interesting. He's so fast. <laughs> yeah. No, Bino Dwergar. Yeah, he's really white for a Dwergar. Right, he run into the poison room. He's jump into the sh gauntlet of Shar from there. What the hell? <laughs> Are you gonna get the spell my gloves? That's the plan, yeah. Okay. No, we don't want the parasite. You can't just ask Dwergar why they're white. You're just so right, that's my bad. No, Twilight it's testing us. Oh my god, we're so sweaty. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Strengthen. You can't just ask the Wergar. Oh, sorry, I read that. Oh, sorry, what was the one I was reading? I think he's the fail guy. Fail safe guy if you kill everyone. Yeah, we need to make sure that this doesn't happen. Uh, why would they need a failsafe guy for that? Like, what in, what important information do they have? I guess is it like the spider liar stuff? You should remove your clothes. Aha, aha. <laughs> so true, pseudo Swudo. You plan to switch from Spellmite to Crater Flesh from Abazigal? I think the 1d6 force damage from them activates damage riders. No, I think we'd rather have the Spellmite gloves. You're not ready. Spell my gloves work pretty good with crits, uh, since they, you know, also get their damage doubled. Look at all that gold we get. Jack catches your eye. Yeah, we don't care about this. Dust. And the spell my gloves are more damage overall. We'll be we'll be rolling with advantage, and at that point, I think we'll be critting on like a fifteen or higher or something. So we should be okay. We will not equip those. We like our reverberation, especially going against Grim. I think knocking him prone is going to be pretty nice. I want the parasite, love them. Can I have yours? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, let's see if we can jump over here. Bone later 1d8, so 2d8. Craters are 1d6, so 2d6 plus damage riders, such as Agonizing Blast. Oh, wait, the. You're saying that the gloves themselves activate damage riders. Interesting. That can't be right. Did I quick save? I'm going to quick save again. Can you describe in four words how you feel about the Grim Forge? I, I'm trying to think about what possible bingo phrase this could be. Four words. What four word phrase do I say a lot? If you crit with craters, you can have agonizing twice. That's interesting. Whoops. Press not to linger. What did we pick up? What mold is that? Whoops. Pressing so many buttons. The scimitar molds, we do not care about that. Fine, we'll just take the damage. We. It's heavy armor. Where do we get the uh, medium armor one? Is it by the armor guys over there? No me gusta is three words. That's not four words. I also feel like I don't say no me gusta often. Oh <laughs> me the money, the drone. Yeah, that's my catchphrase. What are the rules for new people again? There's, there's a... Rules should be in the description. Truant, I, I just want you to describe the forge. Oh, I mean, it's um, it's pretty okay. You know, it's cozy in, in here. Warm. The mace mold. That's the medium armor mold. Okay, so we'll fight these guys. And then we'll get the moles from them. We've been streaming for five hours. Yeah, it's going to be rough trying to finish in another si in a six-hour stream. We'll do our best to make this go by fast, but uh, lots of weird jank slowing us down in this particular playthrough. It's pretty okay, okay. Well, okay, that's yeah, that's three words again. I don't know, man. Four words is a lot. Welcome back. 
have I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my Give me your potions. To your liking. Damn, we're loaded, dude. Very well. 24 hour stream, let's go. I mean, we'll see. I think it'll be close. It depends on how long... Uh... You know, I guess because we killed Nier, we might as well report back to the Mykonid Sovereign. Is everybody going to try and kill us if we go through like the front entrance of Grimforge? We'll be clearing out soon enough. Show me your wares. Can we get a elixir of heroism at this point? Pegasus Feather. Elixir of the Colossus is probably pretty good too. Advantage on strength saves. Yeah, we'll just go with this one. Okay, and then we'll get the Bliss Spores, too. I think Bliss Spores are probably going to be more important against Grim than they are going to be against the Kresh. I don't know, the Kresh will be interesting. Uh, it depends on how quickly they can kill us, because I think if we can get outside to the bridge and start, like, blasting them off the sides, then we should be okay. Scroll of Blur is probably a good idea, too, yeah. Your f most common forward phrase is, you're so right, Rune. Is that so? Greets you with a Does a bingo carry across streams or does it reset? It resets. The Dwergar are slain. Might as well get the reward. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Freak. Freely you have the guardian, but before this. In your mind. Consider it done. I will bring Nier's head to you. Well, that's bliss spores that we got there. We got apparently entitled for that. We need to not use spell slots against the armor guys, which I don't think is going to be a problem. Welcome back. Have you made it? I do what do you got to trade, buddy? If anything in my private collection is hey, he doesn't have haste or blur. I was lied to. Or blur or mirror image. That's, that, those were the ones. I'm not sure you'll be able to give spawn ears head. It doesn't really matter. We just wanted the bliss pours. Is it just Grim in the crash? Just Grim in the crash left, yeah. And then we are done so. Imagine you were reincarnated in another world and you have one power to pick up. What will it be? I would. I always thought, like, if I could control time, that would be super cool. Just like pause time and get like a you know get a good power nap in or something. That'd be really cool. Although if I can't do that, because you know it's a pretty obscenely powerful one. Teleportation, another good one. Shade spell circlet for extra spell save DC. I kind of like our haste helm. Lurg still got stuff for heroism elixir. Oh, you're, I'm just walking back and forth between these two guys for the rest of the, the video. The stream. Power word power nap exactly. Have you made any new? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything, oh, he does. Very well. Okay. Is heroism better than advantage on strength saves? Honestly, the extra boost to our attack rolls is probably really nice. But we're not really going to be attacking him that much. I mean, we never do. Are we going to take out the Mephits when he spawns them? They spawn two spread out for a cloud of daggers. We could drop like a hunger of Hadar. Does that work on lava? Who knows? Hmm. 
I think we'll actually... 10 base P though from Heroism, you're right. I will try Heroism first. Okay, uh, we'll go Grim Forge. Ancient Forge. Adds to save against Mephits too. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't really want to drop our, our weapons. Yeah, Heroism is probably a good call. Okay, let's take out these guys and then worry about the rest. Shovel all summoned up. But the methods can't use minor illusion to trigger them and learn only fight when the surprise wears off. Oh, I was thinking about the methods that spawn in the in the grim fight. We're not gonna fight those methods. We don't need to. We just need one piece of adamantine. Since we can't wield a shield. Look at, look at these guys hiding behind the pillars. We're going to use Shovel as a little... Uh... I mean, if we use Shovel now, we don't get him in the Grim fight. And that might matter, actually. Oh, we have Minor Illusion. Surely this will work. This is the exact reason I got stuff like Minor Illusion. Alice? Do I need to, like, meow with you or something? Is, is this not? Am I using it wrong? Is this not how you use Minor Illusion? Am I stupid? I don't give a fuck, yeah. Seriously. Okay. Chat, am I stupid? <laughs> what is the lore reason this isn't working? Okay. To make this fight go a little bit better, we'll down our heroism elixir now. We're missing ashes. Okay, give me a second. I need to go find Ash. <laughs> Minor illusion is just broken like that. I want one thing to work as, as it's supposed to, this stream. That's all I ask. Maybe if you conjure an oil can or something, yeah. I do enjoy a good bargain. Anything that can give ashes. Salts, essence, salts. Nada. We really are just walking back and forth between these two vendors for the rest of the stream, huh? What is happening? Why did my character climb up there? Okay, here we go. Ashes. Big money. Sublimate ashes. Sure, it's a little expensive, but whatever. Give me Heroism Elixir. Cool. Ancient Forge. He <laughs> spotted a coin. You're so right. Cardio. <laughs> yeah. I do say you're so right quite a lot, huh? Okay. Side quest, he got bored, yeah. He's like, oh, I gotta talk to these guys again. Okay, so I guess we're just, like, going into this fight, just, like, head on, huh? There's no way we can really blast these guys. They're being such weirdos about all this. Can we jump up here? You stay hidden when you jump, right? Yeah. Or you turn your repelling blast back on. Dang, but they're going nowhere. Okay, 
you can go somewhere if I blast you. So we'll blast you. And I guess we'll blast you, since you also kind of go somewhere. And we'll just start the fight that way. And then we'll move back a little bit. We can jump back down here. I don't hate that idea. We can jump back down here and then next turn blast this guy off that way. How about that for an idea? I like that idea. We'll just stay right here. Man, though, these guys got some high AC though. We'll just blast this guy twice to hopefully sure it happens. That is one down. We'll back it up. She repelling on my Eldritch till I blast. So true. I think with 19 strength, you could just throw them. No need to even fight. Yeah, I guess we, we probably could have started eating them around the place, but we're doing okay. Kind of insane how low our chance to hit is, even with Bliss Spores and the Elixir of Heroism. What are these guys AC? 18? Yeah, it's not, not great for us. This guy's got a bow, which makes me a little upset -y. Goon all over them, Gunter. He's gooning. That came out wrong. We really not blast these two guys at the same time. They're body blocking. Okay. Keep going this way. We're looking pretty okay. That person's going to get some shots off on us, but hopefully it's nothing horrible. Pretty sure at that distance they have disadvantage. This is all because you gave up the hand crossbows? Gave, gave use the hand crossbows? That's a bummer. Do we... Misty step away? No, we gotta save our Misty step. We gotta save all of our resources. We can jump up here for a little bit of extra boost. Gave up use of the hand crossbows. I mean, this fight's not going bad. Might be going worse after they get into melee range with us, but we'll see. So this has got to be like a guaranteed shove, right? Yeah. Oh, so close to the edge. Okay, well, that's that guy dead. He's not having a good day. Just imagine the juicy 1d6, yeah. It could be so good. I don't know why animated armor has high AC in the game. Oh darn, my attacks hit the armor weight. That's such a good point. Yeah, what the heck? Isn't that the goal? Uh, we'll just kill this guy here. Never mind. We will not kill him here. What are you supposed to be hitting anyway? Yeah, if not the armor, what is the goal? That's such a good point. I didn't even think about that. Okay. We'll try and keep that guy at disadvantage range. Maybe. Hopefully. Disadvantage low ground. Dang, we gotta keep all of our temp HP too. That was a good fight. You'll love to see it. A fight that actually went pretty well. This is peak Warlock gameplay, pretty much, yeah.
This is gaming. I mean, yeah, that's the, that's the game plan right there. Keep him at bay, blast him. We get our scale mail mold. Now we're gonna go down and get us some adamantine. I really like the sound of those blasts. Oh, the Eldritch Blast design is so good. It's so satisfying. Whoops, what the heck? I'm blast maxing my Eldritch grind set. Hell yeah. Me when I goon and blast my Eldritch. And then it's a photo of Gunter Goomly the Third. Mithralor, yoinked. Bro really said Eldritch Blast. He really did, yeah. Okay, how many attempts do you guys think it's gonna take for the uh, for the Grim Forge? Relate to the party today. Which patron did you go with? We are a Gulak. Can you do a poll in chat? I don't think there's a way to do it. We could do like a straw poll or something, but... I don't see any easy poll button lying around on my, my interface here. I don't have any boss set up, which I will get on. Going to make only the scale mail? Yeah. We don't really need anything else. Can't use a shield, so... That's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. I sure hope that was the right mold. Probably the right mold. I managed to be here for the fight in which Scratch is summoned. We're not gonna bully Scratch. It'll be okay. We don't need to. One of those rare shield dwarves that don't know how to use a shield. Yeah. Aren't you gonna stand at the top ledge and kill Grim from above? Where's the fun in that? Eject and check? Where's the fun in that? I mean, worst case, if it's not, we'll just go grab the other adamantine. That did the trick, all right. and, uh... Okay, here we go, gang. Here we go. We don't have a lot of good healing potions, which has me a little concerned. I think that's probably the biggest thing that's setting us up for failure. Use a scroll of mirror image, too, before we go in. We also get shovel standing. Uh... Can we get shovel to trigger the lava valve? Does that work? Yeah, let's just get shovel standing over here. Change boots. If it comes down to it, though, we can always knock Grim prone with our boots. Like, granted, it's not a high chance. Let's get going. Would it be better to have the disintegrating Nightwalkers? Probably better to have the disintegrating Nightwalkers. And shovel attack the switch. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to. Grim weak to force? I don't think so. I think it's only bludgeoning. Ah, eh, let's throw on the disintegrating nightwalkers. Alright, let's do this. Casimir image first. Here we go, gang. We could also cast haste, but I, uh... That concentration gets broken, we're kinda cooked. Is Grim weak to gooning, though? We'll find out. 
Do you have any plans on making a bald character in the future? No, oh, sorry, that was a big yawn. Oh, uh, if, if that's what the randomize button gives us. Looked on the wiki, Grim has force resistance, yeah. Okay, here we go. Hunter Gumli the third versus Grim. Can Grim be Yote by repelling? No, Grim can't be Yote at all, unfortunately. Uh, so we will start... I should have taken the, uh, the jumping potion. That's what I should have done, the Glorious Vaulting potion. Definitely should have done that. Can you throw it? Is it one of those potions you can throw? I mean, let's find out, huh? You can. Alright, here we go, buddy. You can throw? Good to know. Mark throwing a potion? Oh, Shiloh, you got me good. I love how you name your characters. Thank you. It's, it's a team effort. Yeah, he does have resistance to force. Makes me a little sad. Uh, that's not the right one. That's that's the, the end of the, the challenge run one. Okay. We do this. Yep. We do this. We could get Shovel to do it. And then maybe we could blast the Mephits. The methods don't always spawn on the first swing, though, do they? Um... Hmm... I mean, they're, like, pretty likely to spawn on the first one. Did we do it? What- what else is Shovel going to do, really? I don't- I don't think he's gonna do much else. We'll- we'll give it a whirl. They did not spawn. I think it's a damage threshold thing. I think you need to like get them below like 300 with the first one. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, we're, we'll just blast him in the meantime. Oh wait, he's not super heated anymore. So we're, we're not really doing much. We could cast a concentration spell. We could drop a hunger of Hadar right here. Blind him, slow him down, make him real sad. But then, we're not really doing much, you know? What do we do with the rest of this turn, man? <laughs> uh, can we blind him? Can we use, like, a scroll of blindness? Thirty-five percent chance could crit fish for fright, but we we need him to walk again. Like we need him to go stand in the lava again. Otherwise, we're not dealing damage. You might as well top off the lava. Yeah, I, I guess so, huh? We can move over here and blast the lava. Should have jumped to this platform, by the way, because now we're close to Shovel and he wants to go after Shovel. That was a misplay. Not a bad turn for Haste either. I don't think Haste is the play. Like, the second we get knocked prone, we're just dead then. Which, like, I mean, it's already pretty likely that we're gonna die if we get knocked prone, but, uh. Still not great. Okay, once again, he is just, uh, standing up. He's no longer targeting Shovel, though, for some reason. Should have made Shovel invisible again. Can Shovel jump? Shovel can jump, but not, um, on with this move speed. Alright, Shovel, hopefully lure him over there. 
And then, I guess we're just topping up the lava valve again? We don't really want him going after us, so... Target priority will only last one turn. Good to know. We'll do this. And then I think we move back here. Since this is like as far away as we get, hopefully he goes after Shovel. Why did they come this time? Like, aren't they supposed to come when he like loses a bunch of health? Damn, that's still in range, huh? Why not the hammer? Because he wasn't superheated. We're in heat metal range. Oh, oh Theodosia, off, off. Okay. This is no bueno. Can we jump to the other side? We can. We can jump all the way over here. We, so I guess we just try and kill the methods and then jump away. Good to hear the cat is helping. Cat attacks is on the bingo board, yeah. I'm gonna get a bingo soon. Hey, good job. We can move like a little closer. Last this guy and this guy. I should've just gone for one. I don't know why I, I didn't just go for one. Definitely should just focus on trying to pick them off one by one. Uh, and then we'll go... Over here. So, big jump. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen the methods go after Grim. I thought that one was going to do it too because it flew over to him, but I, I guess I was mistaken. God, I hate heat metal. We should have brought a, a fucking fire resistance elixir. That's what we should have done. Okay. We failed the save. And we're dead. Good lord, dude. Oh, that was brutal, man. That was brutal. Could have worn some kind of robe if you were worried about heat metal. That's so funny. Heat metal, new subgenre of metal. Is it worth it to just like... No, it can't be worth it to take off all of our armor, huh? That's why I keep saying attack from above and win by default. I mean, we can always do that, but I just... I'd prefer to, you know, engage with the fight. Sue me. Okay, so that was pretty rough. You've never been attacked in melee and you're probably dead then anyway. Yeah, I guess if Grim does start swinging at us, we're pretty cooked anyways, huh? But then we also need to ditch our weapons too, right? What number death is this now? That was like 11 or something. We're pretty up there. Hmm... You can throw a speed potion onto the ground so you can pick it up mid-fight without using your bonus action to drink it. I don't really like doing that stuff either. I like trying to, you know, win while preserving the action economy as much as possible. Or not like preserving it, but you know, like, not circumventing it. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Do we have a scroll of fly? No, I don't think we do. We really just need a way to deal with the methods, like, as soon as they pop out. Maybe we go for, like, call lightning on them? 
her cloud of daggers to start like taking out a couple of them. Okay, let's just look away, gang. Look away. <laughs> Take off our metal. Surely these items aren't metal, right? It's a club and a bow. Whatever, we'll take them off just to be sure. Recast Tadara on the spot they start at? I mean, yeah, actually blinding them is probably a pretty good play, huh? Yeah, let's try that. I prefer that idea. Sorry, the clothes are coming back on. Let's try that idea. We'll try precasting Hunger of Adar. I don't know why I quick saved again, as if this isn't just like right where we ended, right where we started last time. Uh, Potion of Glorious Vaulting. That's not the button I pressed. Potion of Glorious Vaulting. Drink. Mirror image. Cast. There's a lot of love. Hadar is cold too, to which methods are vulnerable. That's pretty good. No ice storm scrolls? I oh yeah, right. We could just use an ice storm scroll, huh? Yeah, we might just try to do a ice storm scroll. We do have an ice storm scroll, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we'll just do that. Finish them off that way. And um, I think maybe the play is actually Elixir of the Colossus for dealing with Grim. I think the advantage on strength saves is probably more worth it. But we'll see. For now, we'll just jump across the way. And lure him into position. I mean, he's super heated. We might as well blast him, right? Three damage. Let's go. Okay, come get me, big boy. Make sure you don't drink potions because you need the bonus action to jump. True. If anything, we'll throw potions. Uh, so I think for the same reason as last time, we'll try and get Shovel to trigger this, and hopefully the Mephits spawn, and then we can just, like, yeah, instantly use Ice Storm, and we don't have to worry about them. This should hit all of them. Kind of hard to tell, but I think that's gonna work. There you go, that's that problem solved. That's gonna make this fight a whole lot easier. And, uh... There's not a health threshold thing. I wonder what triggers it. I wonder what triggers it. Yeah, good idea to the ice, ice, scroll, ice storm scroll guy. That was a good one. We just kinda stand here now. Yeah, we we stand up, or we end our turn, Grim stands up, and then starts moving. No, he, he just spends his whole turn standing up. And then... Uh, we try and move Shovel closer to him. Can we get Shovel all the way over here this turn? I don't think so. We can try. Maybe. My god, he, I, I was really scared he was gonna like just jump into the lava there. Okay. We get Shovel standing maybe like right here and hopefully that's the most appealing target for Grim. And then we... We try and get like decently far away from him. 
Maybe maybe shovel should have been closer. We can move all the way back here. And then hit the lava valve. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. <gasps> Why? Why? Oh my god. I swear to god, there needs to be something that's like, this will move your character. <laughs> Good fucking lord. Okay. Yikes, yeah, that's a, that's a yikes and a half. He's throwing. Okay, well now we don't get to hit the lava valve. He is going towards... Shovel, though. Hey, he got a crit hit. Okay, that has to be under the lever. So we shoot these two. Hmm, we might need an extra bit of damage. I don't think one more hammer swing is gonna do it. Throwing for the content, exactly. And then we'll just heal up. And hopefully we don't die here. What if we drop a Hunger of Hadar now to slow him down? Just drop it like right here. And then hopefully he doesn't get into stomp in range of us. Phenomenal acting of the Truant, thank you. I don't hate that idea. Let's give it a whirl, let's see what happens. We're getting hungry. And then I think this is pretty much as far away as we can get from him. I don't know if this is any further. It might be. Are you seriously not in the lava there? What? Why aren't you superheated? can't jump through- wait, we can jump through our own Hunger of Adar. It doesn't do anything when you jump through it. Okay. We will spin the lava valve. And then we'll- okay, but we need to watch out for getting clotheslined. Maybe we just misty step to the other side. We have misty steps to spare, right? Oh, I'm so nervous about getting clotheslined. Surely we don't get clotheslined here, guys, right? Surely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, okay, walk into the lava. There you go. He got superheated. Mother. We just need- we, we really need to make these saving throws. We rolled a four! <laughs> we rolled a four! I'm seeing something about audiobooks in the binger. How have I not heard anything about Truant doing audiobooks? It gets mentioned every now and then. Uh, okay. So, we need to do this. And then he spends the turn standing up. So we'll blast. We go over here and uh, hit the lava valve again. I don't think so. I think we do this and this. 20 more damage. That's that's rough, man. That's rough. Should have checked his uh, resistances beforehand to see if necrotic damage did anything to him. Maybe we could go for a hex. And we'll find out soon. And then... We'll jump back over here and heal up on our upcoming turns. So that hopefully we don't die. Oh, he's superheated again. Did we did we do the thing by accident? 
Okay, he is immune to necrotic damage. Should we take the kill, guys? I mean, it's like a little bit of an unintended glitch, but do we take the kill? Wait, you do audiobooks? I would like to do audiobooks. I, uh, yeah, I haven't done any yet, but I guess we take the kill, huh? I mean, the game's allowed to be mean to us. I guess we're allowed to be mean to it. He was pretty much dead. Yeah. Sucks to suck, bozo. Okay. Only took two tries. The uh, Ice Storm call was definitely a good call. The the timing on the methods in the last fight kind of screwed us up, but that's okay. Easy fight. And it was the adamantine scale, uh, scale mail. You love to see it. EGFA, you can't make me. And we get even more AC. We're up to 19 now. You'll love to see it. But also, enemies who hit us uh, are sent reeling, which means they're less likely to hit us. We're immune to crit hits. And all incoming damage is reduced by one, which is pretty cool, dare I say. Uh, we'll throw our reverberation boots back on as well. ECX is the easiest way to start narrating books that I know of. I'll look into it. Thank you. Are you going to get the second set for money? Eh, yeah, I'm a little too lazy to do it, honestly. Especially because we're running low on time for the stream. I don't think we have enough time to take out the crash. Or at least do the Inquisitor fight. But I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Had to crush you lack. We don't get much from doing this fight. We do get the gloves of belligerent skies. But I don't think that's going to be like a particularly useful item for us, if I'm being real with you. Especially because we're not using the spell sparkler, because we will get crits, goddammit. Uh, but, yeah, it's okay. We'll take a long rest. We lose out on our bliss spores too, which has me a little bummed. I would really like a elixir of bloodlust for this upcoming fight. I do not think Volo's coming back, guys. Whoever said Volo was going to come back, I think they lied to us. Are you going to get any of the radiating orb stuff in Act 2? I don't think so, since we're... Uh, a lot of the time we're going to be in darkness, you know? I think I would rather just rock the, uh, the Risky Ring and the uh, Ring of Protection. I'm stuck at work for another hour and 20 minutes, so you should stream for that long. It might end up being that long. It might. I need a quick word. Finally. It's 4.42 and I have to work at 8, but I want this fight so bad, waited for so long. My goodness. Alright, well, here it comes. Man, she's selling these things for, like, pretty cheap, huh? Does she have, uh, she does not. I was going to say a, uh, Bloodlust Elixir, but it sure doesn't look like it. Are there any other vendors in this area? The Whiskey Wing, yeah, ooh, ooh. If you throw a healing pot on the gift, do they aggro? I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, I'm making a colony. Give me Bloodlust Elixir. ACX is run by Amazon and Audible. I've been auditioning recently. You just have to submit a five-ish minute practice read and see if the book publisher likes your voice. Cool. What sort of audiobooks do you think you'd be good for? You certainly have a smooth voice. That's a good question, actually. I haven't thought much about it. Maybe like a mystery series or something. That would be fun. What did you do to Vol? We didn't do anything. He just disappeared one day. Like, literally just stopped showing up. Like, he, he was there in cutscenes and stuff, but he, we just couldn't see him. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. You don't have bloodlust elixir stuff. please sell all your drunk so you can stop complaining about money. I'm literally not complaining about money. We have like 2,500 bucks. 
will be clearing out soon enough. Empty okay, we got 1,700 bucks. The Warg Fang. No Bloodlust Elixir. I'll buy a bomb, too. No harm in buying bombs. There's enough for a Bloodlust Elixir. Thank goodness. Okay. We should be good enough to uh, take on the crash with these resources. We don't have like a ton of phenomenal healing potions, but should be good enough. Or <laughs> just brag about being rich. You're right. That was a little insensitive. I would so listen to the Truant audiobook. It would be pretty cool, huh? Throwing a potion does damage first, then heals. I assume that makes anyone hostile. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to test it. Because, uh, you know, we got to move this show along. I got to play with my little baby cat. She's going to get mad if we don't play. Do a little quick save. Might as well down the Elixir of Bloodlust now. Is there any other prep that I really care about? False life, mayhaps? I saw a scroll of that lying around. Oh yeah, we should get Shovel out too. Okay, I think this qualifies for talks about doing audiobooks by now. Yeah, yeah, you're good, Shiloh. You can mark that one off. nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight. Jitrai. We right. the missing artifact from the tower's ashes. I always thought it must be like so hard to uh, voice act as or act in general as a character who speaks like an alien language. Like I was watching Dune 2 the other night and the way that they like so effortlessly speak that you know just completely made up language is so impressive to me. I'm assuming it's made up. If it's not, I'm going to feel really insensitive. Sorry, chugging some agua. To be fair, I am genuinely interested in true and doing audiobooks. It sounds like great fun. Might be a little funky to hear a voice already knowing an audiobook, but that's a me thing. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I, I, I do think it's something I'd like to do someday. You know, it's on my bucket list. I got a binger with only six nodes filled, including three. That's insane. Made up. Dune is based on a true story. It's pretty crazy, if true. Okay, so this one is a little hard to justify lore-wise. But we'll figure it out in post. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. The Inquisitor. On what grounds? They often just use English pronunciation for the alien languages. In DD2, all the elves sound like English people reading out gibberish. That's fair, but it's still impressive to me, you know? Especially when you're able to, like, put emotion into it, we'll fix it in post, pretty much, yeah. Information. If it's not about the weapon we seek, I don't care. Patron tells him to pass it over, but our patron is supposed to be the Emperor. So, I, I don't know. I'm thinking the justification is that we're going to say, like, Gunter realizes that this might be a way to meet his patron in person. And even if his patron doesn't necessarily want it, Gunter is just so enamored by the idea that he's like, oh, fuck. Well, I mean, like, I gotta do it. Like, you know, I gotta do it to him. That's probably what I'm gonna say. What can I say? We're just built different. I love how that like shy little side eye he just did. Dune is true. I'm a giant worm man. I believe you. Yeah. Seek the Inquisitor below, and take the cursed thing with you. Okie doke. Off we go. I think the best explanation is just clueless. But I mean, our patron literally asked us to, to not do this, like, in the last scene. 
We could also just be like, oh, we were being thorough with our investigation, seeing if the Gith had any information. And then at this point, like in this upcoming scene, we realize it's an opportunity to meet our dream visitor, so we go for it. I mean, he looks so good in Dune. He does look pretty good in Dune. Like his acting, his outfits were so good, dude. Okay, if we can hit this guy once on the bridge, we're we're like so set. Interesting. My Arden's report. You could say he had a headache from being bashed by Grimm and was yapping. Yeah. You have accomplished much since. Is the Dream Guardian his actual patron, or is this tab just insane? I mean, we're we're trying to like role play it as if as if the Emperor is his patron. To business. I could also do what my original plan was and just say that the uh, that is just like a different elder brain that was our patron and that sent us to investigate all this. Give it to me. Which is probably a much simpler way of making this work. I think I'll think about it. Uh, I'll sleep on it and see how it feels. I think it might be too hard to make the emperor work as a patron. You do insult me. About to execute their grand design and you seek to Fave character in Dune 2? I like Javier Bardem. I, I love him. I mean, no, he's not a character, but you know, the, the character that he plays. What happens if we keep choosing the warlock options? I feel like this won't end well. I do not know what base, naive entities you have made deals with before. Dream Visitor was being hard to get to. What he said when he said no, he really meant yes. Obviously, yeah. What would you ask? As is written. Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> Get to keep choosing the warlock options. To our hard-won treasures. You seek power, but do not seek to strive. The Emperor slash Dream Visitor could be an agent of the patron. True. Give me the Emperor gets hard to talk about in Act 3, yeah. Now. Maybe I'll just say it was an Elder Brain that sent us. I'll probably I'll probably end up doing that. I think it's too it's too simple. No. Or it's just too much of a headache to not do so. Like yeah, it was an Elder Brain, a rival Elder Brain that sent us to investigate the cult of the absolute. It doesn't really affect the role playing that we've done so far. Like it's still all pretty in line since the character is its own separate thing besides its patron. So I think it should be okay. Not exactly a god, but not far off. Your patron wave. But not before leaving a word of advice. Caution. You are permitted to look upon me. I love to see Stilgar just obsessed with Paul. It was so good, yeah. I mean, no spoilers in chat. Let's be careful with the Dune 2 talk. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. She doesn't smite us if we stay standing, right? Like, we, we, we have another patron. I guess we'll wave politely, you know? We're still a noble. <laughs> oh, God. That is not a polite wave. What the hell? I expected little of istic education. But here we need... Wave seems accurate given that your head is still fuzzy from the bashing from Grimm, yeah. If I saw somebody wave at me like that, I would not assume they're trying to be polite. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? To be fair, how do you wave politely? Uh, I'm assuming that's what the queen does, you know? Or sorry, the king now. Rip Queen Elizabeth. It just found me. Hmm. At least you brought it back. All I know is that Timothy and Zendaya are cute. I actually have a really hard time watching movies with Zendaya in it. And a lot of actors, but like I feel like it's like amplified when Zendaya is in it. Because I just can't see her as the character. Like I have this problem with a lot of actors now, but it's just so hard to see them as just the character. And not like whenever they show up on screen like... That's the character. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken. 
He just found me. I killed someone and it stabbed me and now I won't let go. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe Shadowheart got pissed at us for killing that goblin. She had it coming. It's a pass on Zendaya. No, listen, it's just... Like... I have the same problem with so many big name actors. Like, there's such an old star cast in Dune 2. Like, when Christopher Walken shows up, I won't spoil when he shows up, but when Christopher Walken shows up, it's like, holy shit, that's Christopher Walken. Like, what is he doing here? And in that role, too. Like, it just took me right out of the movie. Okay, I need to see what the Warlock button does. Is that so? Autonomy begets consequence. The Wolgas, kill it! Enter the prism yourself. See that protocol is done. Wait, does this mean we don't get With the bless pleasure. from our dream visitor? Because I was kind of counting on that. I, I think we don't get the bless from our dream visitor. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I think we're gonna die here. They go fast, huh? You get a C initiative rolls? Yeah, we're just dead here, huh? Okay, we might need to uh, we might need to take an elixir of vigilance for the, that fight, actually. A win for those of us who don't know actors. Yeah, I'm pretty good with my actor names, and it has come to bite me in the butt, evidently. You must accept. Refuse. No, my okay. I will do as you wish. Want to buy alert skill? Yeah. What level are you? We're level five. The plane caster's power to enter the prison. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. An istic. Maybe if you're using elixir vigilance, also use a speed pot on the ground pre-fight. Like I said earlier, I don't really like trying to circumvent the action economy. I think you can check their plus on initiative and compare it to yours. Does it show somewhere? Plus two. Isn't ours like plus three? Did we just roll like really bad? Plus two. Plus three. Yeah, I think we just kind of rolled bad, the fact that they all went before us. Well. Don't do it. Let's, uh, let's try and get the bless and then see what we, how it goes. Did he go tome lock? He did, yes. There's an elixir of vigilance in the astral plane. Oh yeah, they, they really want you to use it, huh? I love the detail if you piss her off enough, she uses a wish spell on you. That's what I thought was going to happen when I chose that warlock option. Your mind burns hot with excitement. Just get the dex gloves? Eh, it's fine. We're actually, I should have, you know what I should have done? I should have looted the, the Gloves of Belligerent Sky while we were in that room before the fight. The concentration of psionic force is small. That's okay, we'll do it afterwards. This must be a pocket of the astral plane. Initiative is a D4 in Baldur's Gate 3, I'm aware. What's the character's name theme this time? I can tune in the last. So our name is uh, Gunter Gumli III because we are a Gulak. See if we can find that elixir. We, do we have an elixir of vigilance? I mean, kind of sucks because we it's gonna overwrite our bloodless elixir that we worked so hard to get. We'll just see how it goes without one. Scroll of flesh to stone. Good lord, that guy was loaded. What do you think has the least room to make creative builds? Maybe the, a rogue? So you Just because there's so much of their damage is required that you like have to have advantage? I mean, at least from a lone wolf perspective. We will 
talk in private. Just the two of us. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Gith Yankee. But you just couldn't help yourself. This is my Could first you? time seeing the Dream Visitor. <laughs> yeah, have fun. <laughs> I just want to talk. Very well. Bard Paladin Multiclass is the most fun I've had in a while. It's a really good build. Yeah, it's very, very strong. Idris. I was getting more Steve Harvey vibes from this one. Who are you? Just like you. An adventurer from Baldur's Gate that was Someone st fused Steve Harvey with He-Man? Yeah, it really does kind of look like that. But unlike you, unlike anyone else in any plane, I know Blackheart's secret. Who's that baddie with the green hair? Yeah, he's quite the looker, huh? That would be the end of her rules. The end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the absolute. Bill Eilish. You, think I'm you know what I would really like to have for like this fight, actually? A scroll of blur. That would be super cool. That would be like the scroll. I was staying away from Bard like the plague until your Lone Wolf video when I discovered how absurdly strong it is. Yeah, Sword Bard is in particular is pretty nutty. I have been since the very beginning. I use the Dancing Breeze from Act 3, only Finesse Glaive in the game is really good for Bard Paladin. I bet, yeah. Get up, you won't die today. To put my faith in you after all. It was not the topic of a Smasher pass. I was just talking in like general. I feel I struggle to watch movies with Zendaya in them because she's. I see her as the, the actor more than the character. Uh, why hasn't she killed you already? Is this a good playthrough? No, this is an evil playthrough. Lorebard is also overpowered. Lorebard's pretty good too. I don't know if it's as overpowered as Swordbard though. Swordbard's like real, real good. She would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. Okay, how are we going to do the the power to resist illicit control? The upcoming fight here. Um, so one thing we could do. I suppose you hope to extract it from my corpse. We could elixir. We got our elixir bloodlust. She will come for you. We could speed pot. We could speed pot. Try and blast one down, and then run out of the room and go for a darkness, so that they have to get close to try and hit us. And then we can try and blast them off of the bridge. She most certainly will. I think I like that idea. Long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out try there. turning on the turn-based mode before you leave. Absolute. Like I've said before, I don't really like trying to circumvent the action economy. To Moonrise Towers. Return to it. The game seems to intend that the second we leave the prism, we immediately jump into a fight. So any prep that we do, I'm going to try and do before we leave the prism. If you ever do Druid, would you consider doing a true neutralist run where we just side with nature, like side with the Druids at the Grove and stuff? I can see that, yeah. I can see that. Why do we make the dream visitor a little weird? I just press the randomize button and then ask for chat's approval. That had a resounding yes from chat. Yeah, let's let's do that plan. Go out, use a speed pot, get blast, and hopefully kill one. Use the extra action to. Darkness. Throw the potion of speed down beforehand? But why? Why are you why are you so insistent about it? So that we can like break it? 
like I said, I think the game intends for us to do our prep in here before we go out. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you know what? On that note, actually, let's make sure we get a couple of summons up. Come on, with a, with a little dead buddy of theirs. Let's do this, gang. Your guardian did warn you about the gift being ready to kill you. Yeah, that's why we're doing prep in here, you know? Like, I just feel like the game doesn't intend to have the pause when we come out. It's just, like, the game... Like, like why would they just... Story-wise, why would they just stand out there and wait for you? And then, like, have give you a second to, like, prep and shit. So that's why we're doing the prep in here. Is that shovel proper? That is shovel proper. Do you have hag stick for zombie? No. You prefer the zombie over the skeleton for a reason or just vibes? Uh, I mean, I haven't actually looked at the skeleton stat block, but I really like the undead fortitude feature. Like, it's just a, it's just a meat bag anyways, you know? Tank hits for us. Uh... Should we haste, though? No, no, because we're gonna darkness, yeah. Okay, here we go, gang. Here we go. Zombies just have a bit more meat on their bones, exactly. I mean, if they're gonna let me, I'll take the opportunity to move up a little, huh? You have failed. Your death yeah. has been decreed. You should you shouldn't listen to a damn thing she says. How'd you get the real shovel? I thought you had to be a wizard to describe this call, or is it some warlock? Yeah, it just lets you do it as a warlock. You do. To your death then. To your death then. Yeah, this time only two of them go before us. Please don't trip me. Okay, they did not trip me. That is the main thing. They rally that guy, which means we're gonna blast this guy. We're gonna pray to God it hits. Um, on that note, actually, I don't think Shovel's gonna get much more use out of just distracting them for a minute here. We're also gonna use him to reduce that guy's HP just a wee bit. Uh, we'll down a speed pot. Can you hasten an enemy and then cancel con? I don't know. I think so. Just target yourself or an ally, so I guess not. We will speed pot. We could also just go straight for the bridge. Like, we don't need to do the speed pot shenanigans, which might be better. Uh, but let's get let's get wacky with it. I don't think we care that they get blasted further away. Just on that first go. That is them dead. It is a little annoying that they are all kind of, you know, gonna provoke attacks of opportunity here. Maybe I should have thought about that. Can I get shovel over here to provoke an attack of opportunity? No, doesn't look like it. Is that okay? I mean, I guess it's okay. I guess it's happening. The alternative is that we just stay here and drop a darkness and then start blasting them down in here. Uh, we could disengage and just not do the darkness this turn. We could get pretty far, but you know, they're also pretty fast. I would really like to drop a darkness as soon as possible. Do I risk two attacks for darkness? I think I do. I need to find a way forward. Easy peasy. Okay, so we go out here. And then we'll cast darkness. End our turn. We'll have Shovel try and be a nuisance. Oh, Shovel's too short to jump up there. Okay, Shovel is gonna 
hide behind a zombie pal. What is an opportunity but a chance for you to look cool? Exactly. That's a lot of mind steal links. Double! I love how it like flashed back to us like five times for the reaction shot. That's like a telenovela technique right there. Plus one AC and plus one armor class for each creature's mind steal link too. And then these guys have vulnerability to psychic. Okay, we'll just... Yeah, we'll get a crit miss. There you go. Good enough. If they want to waste their time going after our zombie, that is... If they're going to waste their crits on our zombie, that is A-OK. -okay. Run to where the Thunder's mace is and go to camp and run away. Listen, I know there's plenty of ways to get around this fight or avoid this fight or, or you know, try and make this fight less scary. But that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to beat their ass. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Okay, that's pretty nice. That did not trigger our elixir of bloodlust. They died to reverberation. That kind of sucks. Guys, that was just a random gift. That was not Connor. <laughs> Okay. Impressive resistance, but futile. There is a lot of really good loot in this area, yeah. I just found no unique interaction with the shove ability on the Warlock. You can get plus one AC from the ring that gives plus one to AC after shoving someone with the repelling blast. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we might as well just blast this person away. This is our speed pot turn, so we need to keep that in mind. That's a lot of crit hits. Frightened and prone, and so that's kind of them dealt with for now. Um, I think we kind of want Wargaz to come out here, right? We want to blast him off the edge, so we can just focus on killing his buddies. Is there a way we can hit this person from here? There is. Turn this off. Actually, no, we'll, we'll keep it on. You go. A little double tap there. Maybe I should have killed this person so that I could blast an extra time with uh, Elixir Bloodlust. That's definitely something I should have thought about. Do we use the Elixir or the Potion of Speed in here? Wargaz maybe comes up here and then we can get away without the opportunity attacks and then maybe blast him off this way. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in the way that I feel like is going to block him here. This is probably the spot to do it. Right over here. Maybe I should have tried to use darkness a little further back. Why are we going to lose concentration? Does the lethargic make us lose concentration? I don't think it does. Lethargic gets rid of darkness. I don't. I don't think it usually drops concentration. For future playthroughs, you can do this part after starting Act Two. I don't know if that works for the videos. I like to keep it just kind of like condensed. You know, I consider this part of Act One. I know we can come back here later. Same with like Auntie Ethel and stuff. I think we just move back here and use it. Oh, there's, a, there's a chance that, that we can get them. We'll, we'll use it here. Yeah, the darkness stays, guys. Y'all are fretting over nothing. Oh, he's just standing there. Is he not going to come into the darkness? Surely a one Eldritch Blast is enough to kill that person. He's frightened now, so he's definitely not coming closer to this next turn. I think we're just gonna do this fight the old-fashioned way. Mm. 
you can go back to Act 1 from Act 2 so long as you don't enter Moonrise. It's not just so long as you don't enter Moonrise, it's so long as you don't do the Night Song stuff, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can finish this guy off. I don't know how long we've had Darkness up for, but I don't think it's, like, that long. So we should be able to move back in. I think we're just gonna let the speed pot wear out. If he's just gonna stand there while we, you know, blast him or whatever. Making them saving throws. We could use our last speed pot to, like, guaranteed kill him. We'll give him a fighting chance. How about that? Oh, wait, was that not our last turn of speed pot? Yeah, that was, yeah. You just stood there. I, I guess that's the fight. Darkness gonna run out, guys. Darkness runs out and we die. I'm gonna be really sad. He's just standing there, menacingly. Okay, well, I guess that's the war gas fight. Thanks for watching. Sense. That's Act 1. Man, that really breaks AI, huh? Have you done a Darkness playthrough before? A lot of fights are going to be like this. I have not done a Darkness playthrough before. I'll probably try and avoid doing that in the future. I mean, like, I just didn't want to, like, die, you know? <laughs> just, I, was, I just kind of wanted him to have disadvantage on attacking me. I, I kind of just wanted to blast him into the pit, but I mean, hey, if that works. How do you have three actions per turn? I'm new to this game, so I don't know how. So we were getting one action from just our base action, and then we had used a potion of speed, which gives us uh, an extra action per turn. For the next three turns and then we also had an elixir of bloodlust active which whenever we kill an enemy once per turn we gain an extra action all right looting time a lot of bosses in particular don't even have melee options yeah they the with stuff like that i really wish that they would program the AI like a, to be like a little more, you know, intense with their attacking. Like, don't just stand there and let me blast you, you know, come into the darkness cloud. Because I, I don't like fights to go that way, but I also don't want to intentionally just not give enemies disadvantage and just stand there and get hit. Because that also kind of sucks. The boss of the act was everyone hating near you. Seriously, yeah. Throw away the moles that are really heavy. Yeah, I will. As soon as we get encumbered again. Yeah, that's the holy relic. The hoarfrost boots. Yeah, we did near. That was the last fight of the act. What if they're scared of the dark truant? What then? You're so right. How thoughtless of me. Did I grab the gloves already that I was thinking of? Are they not in here? Am I losing my mind? Are the gloves of belligerent sky not in here? Was, it... was I just misremembering the whole time? It is along the southern wall of the room. Oh, God, I almost just hit the end stream button. That would have been a pretty anticlimactic end. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been too anticlimactic. In the Inquisitor's Chambers. Is it this chest? They are in a barrel near the entrance of the room. Well hidden, huh? There you go. So ideally, when we trigger reverberation, this triggers again and like automatically applies more stacks. I don't know if reverberation counts as us dealing damage though. I don't know. We'll see. Because when we killed an enemy with reverberation, it didn't give us the bloodless elixir stacks. So I'm thinking maybe it doesn't work, but we'll see. 
Thank you for explaining. Yeah, no problem. I love I love when people can learn stuff from these videos. Okay, well, let's drop our heavy stuff. We're not just slow walking everywhere for the rest of the game. There you go. Alright, let's get out of here, gang. The statue starts to rotate. Oh, man. Okay, you go east. And then we'll just bash you. Will Eldritch Blast you? There you go. What about Diadem of Arcane Synergy? I mean, it doesn't do much for us. Did I send it to camp? I think I sent it to camp. But it's when you... Uh, the one where you like inflict the condition on an enemy, you gain two turns of Arcane Synergy, right? That's the one that makes our melee attacks deal more damage. Which we're not really doing a ton of melee attacks or weapon attacks. No grease? I mean, we have grease, but, you know, we could just shoot it. Okay, let's, um, you know what? I never go... I never go this way to the under, or to the, uh... To the Shadow Curse Lands. Let's go this way. We need to sneak past these guys, though, right? We have a way of going invisible? No. Okay, well, that's why I never go this way. <laughs> we'll go the other way. If you hit all the Elders Blast, you can do damage with the reverberation and reapply that. I don't understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, that's that's the build. That's the that's the goal. Have you done Grimforge? Yeah, Grimforge is done. Should have played the Wergar. Then we wouldn't get medium armor efficiency. I was thinking the other arcane buff, arcane acuity. Yeah. Oh man, if that gave arcane acuity, that would be insane. There's so many ways I have not taken because I always fall back on what works. Yeah, I mean, if I had an invisibility potion, I would go that way. I try and mix things up in each of these playthroughs so that I try out different options. That's why we uh, did the uh, stealing the golden idol the old-fashioned way this playthrough, because I've never done that before. Alrighty, here we go, gang. The other way pushes you into Dryder fight? I mean, we have the spider liar. I'm, I'm sure we could convince him. I just don't want to go through the effort of getting a potion of invisibility and then, you know, tracking him down and everything. I got on the live right now and thought you were asking that. My bad. Felt <laughs> so stupid right now. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. You should have just cheesed the Helldusk armor, SMH, an optimal build. You're so right. What was I thinking? Huge misplay. So honestly, the beginning, really rough. Really, really rough. That's more or less what I was expecting. Uh, I mean, we didn't have any medium armor or anything. And our Eldritch Blast to hit chance was awful. For a crit-based build, we were only critting on that 20s, no advantage or anything. Obviously really bad. Once we hit level 5, things changed hugely for the greater. Uh, do we have protection from evil and good scrolls? We do. Once we got the two Eldritch Blast, the extra proficiency bonus, and then the improved charisma from beating on the Ethel, uh, the game just became like like significantly easier, way way easier. Uh, we started like actually winning fights, which was pretty cool. I mean, we still kind of struggled against all like the near stuff going on, but that that was that's a lot of dudes. We're not quite there yet, especially when they just kind of ignore our darkness. Uh, darkness I have a weird love-hate relationship with like I said I'm gonna try not to abuse it too much but it just feels really bad to not have any other real defensive option available to us 
and for this one to, to either like break the game or do nothing. Like at the end of the day, darkness plus devil sight should just be advantage on enemies and disadvantage of for them attacking you. So I, I don't know, it kind of sucks that it doesn't work like that. It feels bad. It feels like I'm exploiting the game when I that's not what I want to be doing. Uh, so I'm gonna try and avoid doing it, but we also do need to survive. Like a lot of fights we might just not be able to do without using darkness so we'll see how that ends up going uh it is what it is as the kids say either way load a save to make the fight harder i i don't understand what you mean i'm glad that you managed to dodge the bug that makes you unable to short rest at all had to put pause on my own solo warlock on a mode run is that a bug that's horrifying that really sucks Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed part one, act one, rather. Uh, we're a little over stream time today, too. Not as not as bad as yesterday, especially so because I'm kind of just yapping away. But uh, yeah, expect Michelle's movie coming out this Saturday. And then I should be able to crank out the act one video for this before the next Saturday. And then we'll be going back to video every two weeks uh and then yeah the live stream will be after that can i ask one favor what's up throw a potion of healing on the ground please sure there you go it's done <laughs> congrats on your bingo sigo just saying reload so that you do the fight without using darkness this time if i had more time i probably would but it is what it is Anyways, see you around, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Adios. No instrument? Oh, you're so right. I still have 30 minutes of work left. I'll leave this on for you. Spanish? Uh, buenas noches.